Are you all ready for another exciting episode of Rod Grind? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> lies within? Slime, lots of slime. Hi. How's it going? Oh, I can't take it. I'm positive. No, no more water. Welcome. There's no water in the stream. Oh, Welcome, that? everybody, to another exciting episode of Rock Ride. It's the third episode, and I like to introduce our amazing players and folks who are making this episode happen. First off, Aaron Dill. Please introduce who you are and who you're playing. Yeah, uh, I'm Aaron Dill. I'm a writer on a... Th uh, excuse me. I'm no longer a writer on that project. It is defunct. However, we are writing for Alpha Busa with Ogre, Ogre Popenang, and I can be found on Twitter at Aaron Dillio. And I am playing as Baldric, the alchemist, and I have made sure to have Foley with me today because I have a bottle, which means nice. that I will be very in character. Nice. Everyone clap for the bottle. Yeah, yeah good job, bottle. 10 out of 10. Wood bottle, bottle again. Chan. <laughs> Next up, we... Oh, actually, who are you, you... Did you say who you're playing, right? Or did I not hear? Yeah, Baldric, the alchemist. Cool, awesome, Hulky. <laughs> who the hell are you? <laughs> Hi, I'm Hulky. I'm a voice actor for former project, but now I do fun stuff like this, but also community management for narrative declaration. <clears throat> I am playing Rahua the Kinrasu. I'm a funny tree man. I'm making some bad decisions because that's what I do. What's what? your class? My cleric. I told you it was my cleric. What's, I can't hear, apparently. Next person. <laughs> oh, no. Let me tell me who you are so I can not hear it correctly and ask again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hello. I am Odo, also known as uh, Odoroshi Writer. You can find me on Twitter at Odoroshi Writer. Uh, I am playing Vali, the uh, Sylph Swashbuckler. And to answer your question, Zorin, I am playing Vali, the Sylph Swashbuckler. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, what class are what? you again? <laughs> Who? Oh, what? Why do we have a fifth player? Are we supposed to be four? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> get it, get it out. Mur, mur, there's the truck. <laughs> All right, thanks for showing up for this week's episode of Rot Grind. We'll catch you yeah, next time. Yeah, we'll see you later. next time. Right, 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 right. Right. We'll be executing <laughs> Odo. <laughs> All right, next double? person, Speaker D. Who oh, the me. fuck are you? I'm Speaker D, and I'm characterized by bipedalism, my large, complex brain. I am a writer for uh, if the Emperor had a text speech device, which doesn't exist anymore, and now I'm a writer for Hunt of the Parenting and other shows under the umbrella of Ogre Popenang, and golly, golly, gosh, I'm so happy to see you all! All right, um, I am playing Tan Hauser, the revolutionary Magus, here to bring revolution in the name of a um, revolution to a revolt against uh, the, the, the for the revolution. Thank you, Dale. <laughs> Thanks, Dale. Appreciate <laughs> one. All right, and the one who's going to be torturing us to death, Thurston Hillman. Tell us about you. Hello! Hi, it's me. It's me. It's Thurston Hillman, a.k.a. On Call GM. You can find me on all the socials at On Call GM. You can also find me on the, the Twitch, where I've currently finished a playthrough of the prologue for Warcraft 3 re-re-remastered. Uh, I'm sorry. Get the joke. Um, I mean, you know, people will get the joke. Um, anywho, <laughs> I am uh, I'm going to be jamming for these intrepid band of destined chuckle fox today. And uh, I think we can just, like, jump in. I don't have much else to say. Uh, you know, was, yeah, we was, left off last yeah. time due to a uh, do a water main break, but you know. Oh yeah. Well, oh, yeah. Always... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. To, to clarify the water main break, we're completely fine. Speaker and I are fine. We actually didn't even lose water. A different part of the apartment building then did. So uh, really sorry for them. Uh, yeah, everything is perfect, and I'm very sorry for the scare. Uh, but we are big chillin. Yeah, should be and, and big uh, chill. The only other thing of note is. And this doesn't matter at all, but I am now moved into my own apartment. Yeah, and big clap. It's the same complex big as Odo. Yeah, oh, he's, he's quite literally my next door neighbor. So if he says some stupid shit, I'll go beat him up. Yeah, Odo can physically transposit to my house and murder me. Um, <laughs> nice. And, and vice versa. Kool Aid man through the wall. Exactly. I'll hold you to that agreement, speaker. <laughs> oh, and yes, the kitties are fine. Cut. Good. All right, and with that, I am your host, Zolan the Bear. I am currently playing Orin the Druid. Wait, what's my class again? The Druid! Oh, ah, it's a Druid! 
It is the and ministry he, of the Druids. He, and he is the right he's the righteous leaf baron uh justice maker. And uh one of the things I like to do is kind of go over our uh beginning announcement stuff or whatever. Uh, we'll try to chat or somebody else might do a skip thing or something in the comment section below when this goes on YouTube. But um first thing I want to announce is Zorn the Bear Plush. Uh for those of you in chat, if you want to do exclamation point plush, uh you can find uh, basically, is Zorn the Bear plush. So if you ever wanted to have Zorn the Bear as a nice, awesome little plushie and stuff like that, uh, we need to sell 200 of those. Um, so if we don't hit 200, they do not get made. So we actually need people to reach that goal. So the sooner we can reach that goal, the more secure I feel. So yeah, if you guys could do that, uh, there should also now be a discount discount code for it. So if you go to makeship.com and look for the Jumbo Plush or Zone the Bear Jumbo Plush, and during your order, you do Zorin 15, you should get 15% off your order. So that'll definitely help out uh, with that. I also get a small kickback from it. So hashtag add on that one. So greatly appreciate everyone's support on that one if they could help us out on that one. Most of that money basically just goes back to Narrow Declaration. So, with that, in spite of Narrow Declaration, some of you have been asking, hey, I don't know what the hell your setting is. Like, what are you guys in? What is outset? What's all this other cool stuff? What are these creatures? I also play Pathfinder 2nd Edition, which is the game that we play this on. Uh, what are the monster stats? We want all this cool stuff. If you go to our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash narrative declaration, you will find all of our stuff. Uh, normally what we try to do after an episode or two or whenever it is convenient and makes sense, we like to release all the, uh, stats for our monsters. If we made a custom map for it, release it to you guys, all that stuff. Not to mention that we also professionally produce a lot of amazing PDFs, like really, really nice looking PDFs that uh, Thurston and uh, his partner bust their butts off. Uh, Jamie and everything else, they've been absolutely amazing on that. Uh, they put those amazing things together so you guys for your Pathfinder 2nd Edition games could have amazing monsters, lore, uh, spells, items, all the fun stuff that we plan to make on there. So so patreon.com forward slash narrative declaration for all the cool stuff that you can get and also to learn more and more about our setting and our primer, which you can get there for free. So we'll have links there that you can kind of get with. Uh, the other thing we're also going to be changing is the hero points. Uh, that we do a little bit. Uh, Pathfinder 2nd Edition has a hero point system. Other tabletop RPGs adopt the system as well. That uh, we use them to basically re-roll our D20s. But our additional thing, because of our show, Narrative Declaration, this is our rock grind campaign. Uh, we use those to basically do a narrative declaration. If you watch our Warhams campaign, basically it allows us to kind of bend role play a little bit to either our advantage or for funny bits or anything else like that. So instead of using two of them, we're going to be using one of them. So you guys in chat can basically help uh, donate bits. And it, it only does bits, by the way. So try not to do any other kind of donation incentive. Uh, basically, bits will make the bars underneath our characters go. Uh, they should automatically apply and stuff like that. And whenever we spend any, I can manually put them down. If something messes up, I can always fix them. But basically, those bars will auto generate and fill up as long as you during your bits, you type the name of the character or hashtag the name of that character along with the bits, just like RX did there with 200 bits. Hashtag Rahua to give Rahua 200. So there you go. You're almost at another uh, hero point there. Oh, thank so, you. Yeah. Thank you very much. So, and that is it. We're playing Pathfinder 2nd Edition. If we mess up a roll, don't worry. We probably recognized it as soon as we messed it up. Uh, but we will do our best to do better in the future. Mr. Thurston Hilman. I think that'll be the end of yes. all my hoopla and, and hoopla. beginning announcements. How tortured are we going to be today? Well... Wow. Well, let us let us let us provide a quick recap of, of prior events. Uh, in our past session, our PCs awoke in a strange cavern after falling from a collapsing apartment. Uh, after that, they managed to get their bearings and realized they were in some old structure, possibly within the sinkhole, off the edge of the sinkhole. Hard to tell. Um, they investigated this where they found a, a large imposing room which Baldrick basically said nope and walked away from and then they traveled down a set of stairs to a lower level uh, where they encountered a chamber with a great glowing crystal um, attracted by the great glowing crystal our PCs went to investigate but were ambushed by sludges that had been overcome with rot looks to have been the sort of 
uh, sap from these vines that have broken through various areas of this underground complex. And then they they, they started noticing various symbols. And I'm going to uh, activate, activate the map! And hopefully this will bring us all over and this will work. And it's a, it's a big map, so it might just take... I preloaded it as best I could. Cool. Um, and so, yeah, so... Um, it might just take a second. Don't, um, if not, you just may want to reload real quick. Um, so they, they went into this room with this large crystal. Uh, they, they fought off these sludges uh, and managed to obtain some, some treasure. In the case of uh, Baldrick, he found a formula for a new type of alchemical bomb that was um, based around creating primal moss, which is this... Uh, Substance that was related to uh, to the old powers, the elemental deities. Uh, they were about to head back upstairs when uh, it was pointed out there was there was more area to explore. So they traveled down a hallway, uh, reaching this this room that we see ourselves um, see in front of us right now. That was divided into two sections with a large mural to the south. The mural uh, depicted a raging storm that was battering upon farmlands as well as a castle and that there were several riders from the storm. Uh, one of them looked uh, like a, a dead match for a volley. Um, and then they recognized that there were two runes in the room, uh, in, like etched on the floor. Uh, to the east was one for strength, and then to the west was one for weakness. And after our PCs noticed all of this, uh, they, they decided to take some time to, to explore the area, and Oren had stood on one of the glyphs, which began to glow, and then uh, Tannhauser stepped on the other one, uh, Tannhauser choosing weakness and Orin choosing strength, and then a terrible gale filled the room as winds whipped around and the, the runes began to glow with electric energy and crackle, and then we found ourselves, um, as this all happened, entering into a bit of an initiative, um, and so uh, we found ourselves actually on Volley's turn just at the time uh, that real elemental powers were occurring in Odoroshi's uh, apartment. But now we are past that, <laughs> and we may continue. So, no. uh, Volley, it's your turn. What are you doing? So, uh, kind of set the scene there. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me, but it is your combat round. All right. So, no no enemies obvious right now, yeah? No, no obvious enemies, no. All right. Uh, I'll go ahead and spend my first action to give a little bit of a perception roll. Kind of look sure. around and see if I spot anything fishy. Absolutely. Please give me a percepti set. E. <laughs> Ooh. That oh, was yeah. a two on the die, so an eight. <laughs> uh, so it's it's cold. Like you're you're perceiving it's getting cold in here. <laughs> Thank you, um, Mario. I should have brought another coat. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna wander uh, over. Uh, I'm gonna just use my second action to wander over toward Oren. Okay, yeah, sir. And I can I can get that far. Are sir. you are you standing on the rune uh, with him? So there's basically like these four mark squares. So if you stood like right beside him, you would be on the rune. Otherwise, you could stand outside of it. Uh, I'll go ahead and stand outside of it. Okay, perfect. Uh, What's up, Vaughn? And- Hey, uh, watch this. I'll spend my third action to do a backflip, I guess. Shut the fuck up! Are you just trying to, like, like farm panache in advance? Like, watch watch me do this. Roll dexterity! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Could she roll performance hey, Lord, at me to get panache? <laughs> um, oh, God. Which, what is your, uh, what is your swashbuckler thing that you took? Uh, I am uh, a fencer, so it's it's uh, a, a, an additional way I could get panache is by uh, fainting and rolling okay, deception. Okay, that was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, okay. So uh, unless I can get panache by gaslighting uh, Oren. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, Valor, can, mean... can you do a flip again? <laughs> do no. a barrel roll. Okay, That's roll the, the acrobatics. I can ever do one. <laughs> Please, please, please give me an acrobatic. Okay. Yeah, that's a that's a dirty twenty. Yeah, fuck it. I don't even think that uh, that's how. They're, like, I think you actually have to tumble through. Fuck it. Get your panache. <laughs> like, just take it. That's it. your goddamn panache. Take it. Yeah, just take your fucking goddamn take panache. It from me. You'll be happy. Okay, that's the end of your turn. Please click the end of your turn. Button. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. It's in Odo's contract. She needs to do a backflip every day of her yeah. life. I know. 
All right, uh, Tannhauser, it is it is your go. What are what are you going? So you you've stood on the the, the rune indicating weakness. Uh, it has started to crackle with energy, um, and then yeah, you see the gale in the room as well. What what are you going to do? <laughs> the revolution uh, sees nothing around me, <laughs> right? You can't just start every sentence with the revolution. Yes, he can. I mean, the revolution, I can. Stop him. <laughs> what are Paul you like Bear a wrestler now? I'm the revolution. Okay, fuck I want to uh, hear uh, you uh, order uh, coffee as Tannhauser. <laughs> the revolution, I'd have a double mochiato. What's yeah. that? The revolution, put... whipped cream. Uh, like those you see a little bit of their door revolution. <laughs> <laughs> you see a little bit of Rahua. Everyone else is kind of like rushed yeah. off to the other side. I want you in the I want you in the red corner. Go, I brought the revolution. Yeah. You do a front flip. It's my favorite yeah, kind I... of door. The one that does revolutions. <laughs> is... I fucking hate that what shit. What is your Fuck fucking you. action? Okay, I'm I'm no, I'm I'm taking I'm gonna, I'm gonna, here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast some detect magic and see if I can see anything special happening around me. <laughs> Okay. Can you spin while you do it like a revolution? Yeah, sure. I'm, I'm really spinning. Yes. Zorin, you cannot say in the same <laughs> breath, I hate this bit, and then try to continue. <laughs> I have a love-hate oh, relationship he did. with he it. Did. How about I just hate the greatest saying? He's a man made out of wood. Uh, okay. by... uh, sure, okay. So, uh, it's two actions to cast Detect Magic. Um... And it says on a pulse within 30 feet, detecting like. Sure. Yeah. Uh, so that's, I'm just explaining how the spell works for everybody. So it's that kind of like sense. a pulse that you, you go, woo -boo. Yeah, I, I assume it's kind of like, like Witcher sense from the Witcher games. There's just like. I like to think it's Red October's ping, like one ping. Uh, yeah, yeah, one yeah, ping, yeah that's ping. the sound it makes. Absolutely. Okay, so you do uh, detect a, a magical uh, presence. Um so so yeah you do detect the presence of magic um yeah so you can tell that there there is magic going on here you can't quite at like, this level tell much more than that you just know that there is a magical effect going on i see uh, do i have any idea of proximity of where uh, yeah, so you can, uh, where you could tell is that definitely the rune is magical, so the one you're standing on, obviously crackling with energy, um, and you can see a line that stretches invisibly from the rune towards the mural. The mural absorbs arcane energies from the rune of weakness. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Ah... That's all I got, Chief. And I'm gonna activate um, Arcane Influx uh, just to prepare. Yeah, absolutely, because because you cast a spell. So since you cast a tech magic, yeah, absolutely do that. Okay, so yeah, you you, you get your uh, um, get your Arcane Conflux going. Okay, cool. We're channeling some nice interdimensional magic just in case. Yeah, oh, all right. About magic, I didn't go to college. <laughs> Me either. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right. What's your GPA? Um, first of all, uh, Oren, I require you to give me a reflex save. Why well, you gotta do this to me, man? Because I'm a bad person. I forgot to click my character sheet, so hold up. Let me just expose <laughs> all this. Let me pop that Sorry, out. Sorry, the bear exposed. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Zorin the bear not prepared for RPG fun time. Yeah, where's your audacity, Zorin? Unsubscribed. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, we gotta clap again, don't we? Uh, pr yeah, we gotta. Uh, come on, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're synced up. Yeah. Excellent, sexy. I removed it. Fuck you. Alright, uh. <laughs> oh my god, I actually can't retain information. What shit? Reflex <laughs> saves. Thank you. <laughs> Why am I so dead today? Okay, <laughs> ask, reflex. Here we go. I wake up every morning and ask myself that in the mirror. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> We're a happy Wait. show, I swear, everybody. This, okay. got a 20. Do I die? Uh, no, you're going to take half damage, so you'll take seven points of electricity damage. As, as the rune... 
arcs over you and crackles with this energy. And as as it sort of like crackles up and goes all wait. over your body, uh, Volley, you can see that some of it is streaming towards the mural. Okay, you wait. said wait. So this is one of those like, my, wait, my wait, character wait, actually wait, possesses wait. dark vision or electrical no, resistance. No, yes, on. actually, yes. Yes, hold yes, on. I, yeah, yeah. It's like I designed I these storm. things with some of our players in mind. Holy I have shit. storm order. <laughs> yeah. What does storm order cool. do? Hold up. <laughs> you also oh. gave the storm one to it. Feet. Okay, I'm Stormborn, which is okay. I'm gonna click this. You're at home to the penalty spells and perception check by whether your target is spelled. The fuck? No, that's only because I don't have to care about fog. <laughs> Shit, I thought I was cool. Now I'm not. No. Damn, or, well, like, I thought you were wait, I was born in a storm. Just an anus. Or, or, or it's just sitting there like, hey, I was born in a storm. Does this mean I'm resistant to electricity? Your ancestor slowly descends from the clouds and he points at you <laughs> like God pointing to David. No. No, <laughs> no you suck. Fuck yeah. you, Ryan. <laughs> All right. Um, so, so yeah. So, so the electricity washes over you, uh, Volley. You can see it kind of like move out along invisible lines, uh, just under your feet from the rune towards the mural. Huh. Um, and uh, I'm now going to get uh, Tanhauser to also give me a reflex save. Very as well. That rune uh, begins to, to crackle with energy, though not as much as the rune that Orin is standing. On. Let's let's rock. Baby, do it up. Enroll uh, like a revolution. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> if you keep this, if you keep this up, Zorin, I will pull up voice mod. I will blast doing you up. All right, all right. You so keep you saying these things. Fail. I don't know this, I think you understand what they mean. <laughs> and as you will fail with a fourteen, but I didn't roll particularly well, so you only take five points of electricity damage. Ah, Tucci Mama. As, as you now, having seen those lines that connect a mural to your rune, you see the, the electricity that arcs off your body arcs in the same manner. So it, like, goes along those lines towards the mural. Um, as all of you sort of look and turn to see the mural, you can tell that um, it, it is going towards the mural. And then when the energy goes to the mural, um, there's, like, a tiny hole that's starting to form form in the center of the mural, and you realize it's actually, like, down the middle opening? Um, so that was that. Now I need, uh, ten ha or sorry, now I need, uh, Vali and Rahua to give me fortitude saves, please. Oh, no. No, thank you. I'm yeah. good. Oh, Are we yeah. about to get our ass beat yeah. by a painting? <laughs> nope. Why does the painting have a health bar? Yeah, uh, <laughs> 13 for Vali. Okay, 13 oh, for dear. Vali. Perfect. And for, it. uh, for Rahua. I am locating the fortitude save. It's on the left hand side. side. Yeah, yeah, on the main yeah, left, page, yeah. Yeah, you'll see a fortitude reflex will on the left side of your character sheet. You click the dice there. Oh, you're changing yourself to master. You might not want yeah, to. Yeah, right, oh, right click it to, to bring do. it back no, down. No, yeah, you're not you legendary either. Oh, fuck. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Yeah, just click the dice. I'm actually kind of a big deal, so. <laughs> I'm kind of a legendary <laughs> fortitude tree, man. What do we got? What do we got? <laughs> 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 or not, he'll oh, roll oh, too. Okay, I want to explain why that's so fucking funny. The 3D die, as it was rolling, was hovering on 19, and then went <laughs> on 3. <laughs> Get fucked. Okay. Um, the so the mural goes meh. Not impressed. Uh, <laughs> so the mural, the mural does does go uh, meh, not impressed. Instead, uh, both uh, Vali and uh, Rahua, you take damage, uh, cold damage from the wind that is now galing through the rest of the room. Uh, so both of you take five points of cold damage, which I have applied to you. Um, Baldrick, you take none of this because um, I'm standing in the fucking portcullis. <laughs> It's because you're standing outside the outside the chamber. Yep. Um, and and you notice that like the the cold does not seem to be affecting whatever these like energy lines are. So you're just taking cold damage, and that's just damage you're taking. Uh, okay, and that seems to be that. Rahua, you may go now, my friend. You've seen a lot of stuff. What are you What are you doing? Everybody is so want to go towards things that hurt them all the time. I don't understand. Uh, I, I guess we're going to go up to the painting and try and break our way through because I love brute force chaos. Okay, yeah, sure. You what? <laughs> what are you doing? Merely opening the door. That's not a door, that's a painting. It's a door behind the painting. What the are fuck you are sure? you talking about? 
Or who no. speaks wisdom? All paintings are doors when sufficient force is applied. Yeah, a door to the wall. All right, Thurston, what do I got to do to break this baby open? Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> oh, no. Let me you show you pick. how it's done. You have a pick, don't you, Minecraft boy? I yeah. do. Yeah, do you want to just attack it? Like, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. I just want to, like, wedge the pick where the opening is and try to, like, start pulling it apart if it's opening up. Um, yeah, you know what? How about that? That sounds like athletics to me. Um, but you've got a, you've got like a pick. You're trying to use it as a wedge. The, the, the mural, and you can tell as you're getting closer, like it's slowly opening on its own. Um, but I can, I can oh, understand cool. your desire to, uh, to speed up this process a bit. Uh, so yeah, uh, give me, let's, let's say an attack roll first with the, actually, no, athletics check. Let's do athletics. That'll be that. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Oh, so oh, close nice. to 22. Uh, yeah. And did you give yourself that bonus? Uh, uh, I don't think so. I, I don't think. No, no, you did not. So, okay. You're also going to get another plus two, which uh, is going to give you a success. So, um, <laughs> as you as you succeed, you, you, you feel that you're, like, pressing it open more. And as you're pressing it open more, it seems to be speeding up. Like, you've, you've pushed it open. The, 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 the effect of the room is still going on. But it looks like you've probably done the equivalent of speed up this process a bit. It's like winding a, a jack-in-the-box faster and faster to make it go faster. Yeah, and so you come up and you're, like, prying it. And I'm gonna say that, like, because you'd have to move, um, like, pull out your pick, theoretically, and then do it. So that's gonna be your action. But you're, like, yeah, you're just, like, pushing this thing open more and more. Um, all right. So that's it. Baldrick. Uh, so you are, um, you are currently blocked you can tell that there is like a wall of invisible force that is right in front of you right now what well, would you like to do i kind of just wanted to keep my distance so i guess i'm being told to keep my distance so uh Waldrick is going to move back out into the hallway and see if there's anything going on out here uh sure yeah uh step up and um let's see oh you don't have a light source do you yeah i don't have any light so yeah, you don't. Uh, well, okay. So you probably see like a thin crack of light on your token. Um, you may see like a thin crack of light if you go like a bit to your northeast. You can see there's like there's some sort of flickering light uh, past this dark hall, um, and you can hear uh, audibly like a crackle of fire. All right, you guys. Uh... Want to explain exactly what's going on in there? Because I can't, I can't tell. Are you guys in trouble? What's going on? I'm the still being electrocuted. The painting is a doorway. Right? Yes. Yeah, you're still being electrocuted. Come back here. Make bad decisions with us. I can't. There's a field in the way. Uh -oh. There was a door in here too, but it's supposed to open slowly. But I'm making it go. Just come back. I can see you doing that, but I can't move through the doorway. Try harder! How about you tell me what's going on since I'm not in there? No. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Uh, it looks like Orin and probably... Hey, Tanny, are you getting electrocuted over there? Yes, but it's charging my battery, so I'm kind of okay with it. Okay. So, Tanny and Oren are getting electrocuted. It's very cold in here. Uh, I think my eyelashes are starting to freeze. And, um, Rahua is trying to uh, destroy fine art. Okay, I'm not really sure what's going on, but it is a little funny. Keep doing everything but dying. I'm going to go check out and see what this source is out here. See if there's anything I can do out here. That's a good idea. Just don't go too far. I kind of have to. Good luck. Bye. Bye. Uh, Help me! Orange is bleeding. Uh oh dear. Uh, well. Uh, Thurston, can I move to this point here since I can't see? Uh, yeah. Here, I'll uh, I'll move you. Let me let me adjust you here. There you go. Something like probably there. Yep. There you go. Oh, I move the map. Mm -hmm. So I'll describe what you see, uh, Baldrick. You you go through the dark 
uh, the dark hallway towards the light. Eventually, you find yourself coming into a uh, large uh, chamber that in the center of it is about a 15-foot brazier that is, like, burning with fire and there's, like, crackles in the air. It's atop, like, a mounted dais um, that have steps leading up. There are several uh, robed figures standing here, all sort of, like, clutching onto steps. Uh, staves. They're all withered, husk-like figures that are all facing towards the entrance. Uh, and they're, one of them, the, the, the one, like, closest to you here, has the back, like, the hood pulled back to, to reveal them, and they, they stare at you while, like, clutching onto this staff. Um, I'll just share that with everybody. There's the beautiful art piece uh and yeah like there's just this like big blazer of fire there's like a pillar going up to the ceiling you can tell the north here uh of this chamber is like broken and has more of those um those like roots coming through it uh with some of that like black rotten substance would you like to re i'll give you a free reaction to this because i you're technically you're done but I'll let you, like, say something or do something. Baldrick is just kind of watching these guys. Uh, they're just watching the entrance where I came through, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, the one that has the hood uh, pulled back is directly, like, looking at you. And you can see their, their flesh is, like, withered, dried, almost, like, crispified, probably from the heat here. Um, you guess they're probably some form of undead, but it's hard to tell. Uh, Baldrick's going to see this, assess for a second, and then call out after unsheathing his club. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to give you exactly five seconds to tell me what the hell's going on here. Okay, cool. Uh, and that'll be the end of your turn, so if you want to click that end, end uh, turn button. Sure. Cool. Uh, this brings us back to Oren. Very good. Righteous. <laughs> you're in, you're in one of those like the, those machines that people would stand up in that would like just like it's got the belt and they just vibrate while standing up. Uh, Oren, what are you doing? I'm just suffering, dude. I believe, guys, if we stand here, that we can open the door by getting hurt. Oren's gonna cast heal on himself. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Very I'd good. like to heal. I would like to heal myself. He's gonna, <laughs> he's gonna do. I might as well do a. I'm gonna do a three action heal. Might as well spend the spell slot for it. Okay. And uh, which I remember, it's actually it's just a two d eight, or it's just no, it's just a d eight for AOE, right? Uh, yeah. So if you're doing the AOE one, then I think it's just the the d eight. Yeah, just one d eight. Yeah. Good, uh, uh, you just perked on the 30 foot to yeah. turn to myth on living creatures. Yeah, so basically I'm trying to get me in volley, so it's just gonna be uh 1d8 for it. So wha -pa! Nope, Pow. that's right. That thing wants to not be great. Whatever, it's Oh, there it goes. There it just go. took it, it, it took it five million years. Took it five. It's fine, it's fine. Okay, so All you right. heal two! You. I'll heal both of you for that. Uh so not and... There you go, Volley. Just don't leave me here to die, please. What does Thank your you, heal buddy. spell look like, Zora? <laughs> it is it is a it is if like what's that like 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 fresh pine car freshener smell? Just <laughs> whoosh! It's just that in like green as like green as a big dome pretty much explodes out. You hear it's like you just walked out in like the in like uh the redwood forest and pine car smells just braiding your senses water a little bit as you kind of get like a nature-y feel from it. It's just green and nature and shit. Thank Beautiful. you. That felt very green. Well, like to end your turn. Yeah, <laughs> sure. And I, I think that clear. brings us to Volley. Uh, after receiving the the pine healing. Uh, <laughs> what would you like to do the now? pine healing. Yeah. Oh, God. Um... I'm gonna hit this thing with another, I imagine it would be perception. I, I just wanna give this this thing another look over and kind of see what all of this, all of these weird crackling glyphs and the lines, yeah, what it all means, or like if I can see any changes beyond uh, Rahua going apeshit on the, on the painting. 
Absolutely. Uh, would that just be perception? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, damn. That is right. a 22. Yeah, so with that, you're you're able to sort of, like, suss out a few things. Um, you're able to tell the, there are these lines that are connecting these runes to the mural. Uh, you're also sort of, um, you know, perception is, is like a, a wisdom-y thing as well. So you're also able to perceive, like, the what is on the mural is very contextual here. That, like, there was the farmers who were getting, like, beaten down by Papa Storm's torrent, but, like, the the king in the castle was also taking taking the brunt of the damage so this is representing that and people enduring under the harshness of the storm uh so, and you can tell that the way that these like runes are this will probably only work if someone's standing in each of the runes and not moving uh you mm. can also tell that what rahua is doing is helping like pushing the door open is kind of speeding it along like like Hulky said it's sort of like you know making the wind up toy go faster um so yeah uh you could probably like use thievery uh to disable a device if you were adjacent to it to help speed it along or you could stand in one of the runes and that might like help things out more too okay um i have better thievery than I do uh, HP. So... I will I will point out to you, though, disabling a device with thievery is a two action. Oh, it is two action. Yes. Okay. So just, just a heads up, you'd probably, you'd have to move and then wait till next turn to do it. So up to you. I just want you to be aware of that. Right. Um, in that case, I will go ahead and um, uh, so the device is like on the mural. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you, okay. basically, that's where you would be doing the disabling. Right. Uh, so I'll just move up here. That's my second action. And then for a third one, I'm just going to try and help out Rahua. Uh, I'm going to uh, jab my rapier into the hole and just start poking at it. Yeah, give me an athletics to, to assist him. All right. Athletics. All right, yeah. let's yeah, go. Well, that's what he's doing, so that you're just is, That is now. true. You know? <laughs> that's oh. five. <laughs> Um, that's Wait. cool. You actually hinder his efforts, which is yeah! cool. So he's going to take a penalty to his check because you critically fail. As you're trying to, uh, like, I want to point out, you're like, I'm going to take this fine rapier of mine and use it to pry open a door. <laughs> you're like, fuck, 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 this is fucking work. Stab him, Rua. I know exactly what you can what use. Doing. Yeah. Uh, Volley, I believe the expression is that is jank as fuck. <laughs> uh, uh, that's the end of your turn. You can hit the end turn button, Volley. Uh, Wait, you have my turn points. giving myself disadvantage. As, yeah. as I'm fucking over uh, Rahua, I am going to relay to the party what I learned from my perception check that it's uh, it's like a trial and we need to weather the storm and also need to keep breaking down the door. Uh, remember, everyone, everyone here has two hero points right now, thanks to chat, so... Jesus yes. Christ. Oh, I want to save them. I don't I think this is important enough. I appreciate you being like, fucking over Hulky isn't that important to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, not going to do too much. I want a narrative declaration. Oh, wait. Uh, one sec, one sec. Oh, yeah. Ten I, I want us to get to a trap where we do everything in our everything that we can to stop it, but we keep crit failing, so we do more damage than the trap. <laughs> <laughs> now understanding how this trap works, Tannhauser is going to kneel down to these lines of etheric magic, and he is going to kneel down, grab hold onto one of them, uh, even if it's intangible, um, and he is going to have his internal disentangler activate, and then he's just going to call out, Power to the people. And I'll cast Electric Arc to try okay. to continue along this process, empowering it with my own magic. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, roll me Electric Arc DiMaggio. Please. Of course. Sure. Of course. Of course. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Just give me the damage for it. Yeah, perfect. Uh, it's yep. a five. Cool. Yeah, so you, you managed to surge a bit more energy along the lines, um, causing it to, like, like even speed up the door opening. Um, that is two actions. You have one action left. Yeah, I think for my other action, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to cast shield on myself to okay. just try and um, uh, 
defend myself in any Just way. Maybe, maybe this case. will... Yeah, if a lightning bolt comes through, maybe my shield can tank it for me. Failing that, I don't know. Yeah, um, no, 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 absolutely. I, yeah. I get you. Okay. Um, so Before you continue, cool. see that awesome spell effect thing that's on the chat there, uh, speaker? Drag that yeah. onto your token. Yeah. Wait. That'll all Hell. have the ability there for you. Oh, oh there you go. look at that. It gives a little pop up. Wow. Holy fuck. Boundary's so cool. Wow. Wow. Okay. I could do that for five dollars. You you may uh you may end your turn, Tanhauser. That I might just since yes. you asked me so kindly. I am. I'm trying to get you all in the in the mind. Thank you. No, I, try, I, I, we will always a, forget. But then you're trying to be a helpful person right before yeah. I ask both I you buy a and gun. Zorin to give me a <laughs> reflex save, please. I want to buy a gun, literally just to get the <laughs> racking sound effect going. Interturn. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Give give me reflex saves. You two chuckle plugs. Okay. All right. Uh, I got a dirty twenty for you. Oh, nice. Zorin Damn. got a righteous twenty three. <laughs> All right, so both of you will succeed, so you'll take half damage. This will be Oren's <laughs> first. Uh, so, Oren, you will only take four points. I will apply that. <laughs> wow. Um, and then for ten, Hauser, you will take uh, three points. So I'll apply that Will my you. shield protect me in any way? Not against this effect because yeah, it's basically like coming up from the floor. Like yeah, you were, yeah. you're using the shield protectively in case like you know something tangible came. But this is like electricity arcing up your legs. Next time, uh, I'll ride it like a cool skateboard. That's right, uh, Rahua <laughs> and Vali. If you would also please give me uh, fortitude saves is what I need from you too. Okay, one Fortnite save coming for you. Yeah, I hate you so much right now. Many people do. Ooh. Oh, 24. I'm gonna. That oh, that result no. didn't happen. I'm gonna spend a hero point. Hero point. You want to right click and <laughs> hey, uh, you know reroll using hero point. Sure do. Hero point. Here we hero go. Hero point. Wow, go. not much better, but an 18. Hey, I mean, 18's better. better than 10. That's statistically. Oh, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't even realize how high my bonus was. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, remember, <laughs> expert in fortitude, almost legendary last turn. Okay. I'm big, um, big so boy. both of you will take. Only half damage, and Rahua will not take double damage from this, cool. which is good. <laughs> um, so I'll just apply this to both. Oh, God, that would have been nice to have been 12. Uh, okay, so both of you will take three points of cold damage. And then um, I will apply that, and I will apply that. As this happens, um, the, the energy from these runes crackles once again, and then uh, both of the runes immediately wink out. As this happens, the energy courses along towards the mural, which now um, seems to accelerate, even with Vali's, like, terrible... Um, <laughs> causing issues before uh, Rahua can even continue, the mural slams open, revealing an alcove inside. Um, and inside there are three things of, of note that you, you, Rahu and Vali, will immediately see in the alcove. The first thing that you notice is a small pile of gemstones, mostly, um, like, opal, uh, or sorry, not opals, um, sapphires, and, like, not, probably not diamonds, but, like, you know, clear, clear gemstones of some kind. Um, you then see a, an ornate scroll case um, that is done up in, like, well-preserved leathers, and then at the, the base of that is a mace. Uh, it appears to be a light mace, sort of, sort of like a, a handheld mace, uh, but it is covered in, um, it's covered in some kind of, uh, like, moss that is overtaking it. Uh, it has, like, clumps of this moss in various, uh, various places along it. How peculiar. And so you will see all of that. Um, yeah, and uh, that is the end of quote unquote the trap. By the way, you, you murdered the trap. Congratulations. No. Um, Rahua, it's it's your go. What would Death. you uh, what would you like to do uh, now, Rahua? We're still in combat because we have uh, Baldrick in the other room, and we don't know how that's gonna gonna play out. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, 
Rahul will call back to the party. We've done it! We've destroyed the mural and progressed society culturally! There's also stuff inside it, but it's okay. Righteous. <sighs> Our society takes a great leap forward. Dibs on the gems. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> She's always calling dibs. Rahul's yeah, gonna go inside dibs. towards the moss mace. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I've just shared a piece of artwork of, of the, uh, the the mossy mace. Um, you should be able to to see what that looks like now. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of like a, a an ornate mace uh, that just has these clumps of moss. It looks very similar to the moss that um, was in the bomb that Baldrick had found. So, okay, you were going to take the mace, you said? Uh, yes. Well, okay. though, I mean, visually I can tell that it's the same kind of moss that Va uh, Baldrick had found. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I would have to necessarily make a nature check to figure out, oh, it's the same kind of moss. That's that's pretty no burrito. It is neato burrito. Mighty mosquito. Yeah. Okay, so you'll take that. I will put that on your character sheet for now. Um, <laughs> that's one action. What's your next action, dog? Uh, oh, geez. Uh, can, can I make a nature check anyway on the moss just, just to learn more about it? Because I feel like it could be useful, especially in Absolutely. fucking Absolutely. Please, uh, please, please give me a uh, nature check on this. I am going to give you a nature check. Okay. Here you go. Thank you. That's a five, but it turned into a 12 because of my bonuses. Um. Yeah. Um. It's a. Uh... It's a bit it's a bit strange like you're 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 not quite sure that's going to be like that's not going to be immediately enough to identify it um so you're not you're not entirely sure what this is yet you know the moss but like you're not exactly sure what this item is and how the moss relates to it like it it's clearly like special because it's not coming off easily it's not like it breaks off as you touch it but Hey, Vali, look at this thing. It's all disgusting and overgrown. Oh. You want to touch it? Uh, no, no but uh, thanks for the offer. You're welcome. Perhaps it is related to the rot-killing moss that we that we forgot at home what, what was the status of our moss. Uh, Baldrick has it. Speaking of which, where is Baldrick? Yeah. Rahul, what would you like to do with your last action? <laughs> we should probably go find him before something else happens. I.e. more goopy friends that are not impressed with our actions. Let's go! And Rahul will start moving off towards... Okay. Oh. Nope, can't go forward yet. <laughs> I'm gonna oh, move yeah, back oh, sorry, the sorry. I suppose I can, I suppose I can uh, delete the invisible wall because now the gusting has stopped as well. There you go. You can, you can move now. Okay. Yeah, I, I will allow you to pass through the invisible barrier. <laughs> Thank you, cool. God. Uh, and then, yeah, you come with your, your light source now illuminating the hallway. Uh, Baldric, you would see the light source coming up to you. But however, uh, just before you go, Baldric, um, this, uh, this, this strange, like, crispy-skinned creature with robes clutching on the staff, uh, silhouetted, like, by the crackling brazier of fire behind him looks at you. You have come. Are you to look into the flame? Hmm, let me check what I can possibly roll on that one. It is your go, Baldrick. Yeah, I'm gonna think about what exactly would be a good idea to roll for that, because I don't have a, I don't have a good religion, so that would... This is not the spot for me. Um... Mm -hmm. Strictly speaking, yes. at a glance, is this fire, you know, natural? Is it magical or is it, you know, something else? You would assume there's got to be some kind of magical effect going on because, like, the amount of, of kindling they would need and based on how, like, deep this place has been, it would be pretty difficult um, to, to maintain a regular fire here. Uh, Baldrick knows better than to trust the word of desiccated dry guys. He's going to uh, simply bark back at them. Uh, uh, if it means looking like you, probably not. No. 
Are they going to be respond or do I have to wait a whole round for them to respond? No, um, like if if you're not like tossing bombs or anything at them, like they're 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 not hostile. So, in fact, what I will do is I will end our combat encounter. Um, and um, yeah, you can just you can like talk to them. And the rest of you, uh, are you all making your way towards Baldric? Um, what's what's the, yeah. the plan on the side? Yeah. Yeah. I think I think to do otherwise would be anti-revolutionary. I'm gonna Sorry. hit you. But what about all the sapphires? I'm gonna break your legs. Okay. Is is Volley looting? Like, is Volley quickly like looting everything else? Uh, yes. Okay, Please do. Perfect. Perfect. I like it. I like it. Okay, I'm just gonna make. Uh... It's it's my pirate uh, code of ethics. I, I must ap- take the booty. I appreciate this. I will uh, put some placeholder things on your uh, your character sheet just so we know you have them. So. You have a unusual scroll and a gem stash, which we will get to. Uh, Baldrick's gonna stop, him. gonna stop Oren from going too much further in. He's actually yeah. gonna stop everyone hey. else from going ahead of him. Hey, absolutely. So yeah, hey, you, hey, you, hey, you up, all turn up. and you like you all now see this, except for Volley, who comes up shortly behind. Uh, Volley, you can position yourself by oh, the group yes. now as well, um, because like essentially you like rush up just behind having grabbed all the all, all the loot um and then yeah so Baldrick, you see this uh, all of you now see this this room again um this sort of like massive brazier in the center crackling with fire again almost like 15 feet in diameter uh these desiccated corpse-like figures uh with crisp skin standing in like dark maroon robes with staves uh all of them hooded except for this one here who's sort of staring at you as more of you come into uh into view this one sort of like lets out a, a voice again have you come to look into the flame. What's your offer? Hey, no, 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 no. Don't, you guys just walked into a room and got electrocuted and froze half to death. So the revolution, you made me look bad. (laughs) We found a very interesting stick. It was worth it. Yeah, uh, how about we wait just a second, okay? Does Maya detect magic reveal anything about this are you, are general you casting it? Um yeah, I'll cast it again. I fear no I fear no evil. Uh yeah, so you you are definitely detecting magic. Uh there's a few like sources of it that I'll give you cuz I'm assuming you're being pretty like often on selective with it. Yeah. Um yeah. all right, so there's a few things. The mace radiates magic, the scroll case that you got radiates magic. Uh Volley has some bracers on that radiate magic that you didn't notice before. Um and then the the flame itself uh, radiates magic, or at least like even just the outer edge of the room seems to have. Do I have like, places suffused with it? Any idea of what flavor? Like if it was rot infested, death kill? Oh, no, no, it, it, that would be once you uh, once you get like third level cantrips. Essentially, that's when you can f- more suss out what type of magic it is. Uh, just with detect magic, like you could obviously spend time and do like mysticism, or sorry, yeah, yeah uh, like arcana or whatever the appropriate check okay. is. But just with detect magic, you just kind of do a pulse and see, okay, there is magic here. Cause... Uh, I'm going to look at Orin and I'm going to look at Rahua. Orin, you are a weird tree guy, right? Or looks at Rahua. Yeah, sure. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Now, since you have the weird association with trees and nature, maybe you can help Ruhua, who lacks this. Ruhua, your mace has moss. Or in, is it the kind of moss that kills the rot? He's like, yeah, let me, let me see the, uh, the stick with the metal bit on it, Ruhua. I thought I was Orin now. No! <laughs> may, may I, I, I'd like to do uh, two checks if that's possible. Mm-hmm. Um, I would like to check on the mace with the nature check, and I'd also like to check, do a nature check on the fire to see what Orin may ascertain from it, see what flavor the flame is. Okay, um, so you can you can definitely do it on the mace. If you want to do it on the fire, uh, you'll take a penalty for being like farther away unless you like go up to it. I, I was about That's to suggest fine. maybe it'd be better suited on the the corpse guys because I can't identify them. Yeah, I'll uh, here. Well, we'll do uh, yeah. I'll just go and do it on the mace first. 
Absolutely. So, bloop, bloop. and Oren got a only an eighteen. Only an eighteen. Um, in this case, because you're a druid, uh, it's actually a bit easier for you to identify this item. So I will identify it. One sec. Um, but, okay. Um, so it is a plus one mossy light. Uh, so what that means is it has the uh, the mossy property on it. Uh, and what that means is the weapon counts as a moss-type weapon uh, when it is used against targets. So anything that would have uh, weaknesses against moss, this will uh, trigger that weakness. So this is really effective against, like, rot-based creatures. It's clearly, like, a very old and... Um, storied primal weapon so your nature is actually very appropriate to use on this makes it easier to identify because it is a primal uh, piece of equipment you can also tell that there is like a strong resonance with this item um and so for for those of you listening uh what that means is that this item has some additional um additional like backstory to it that could be unlocked with like certain spells or abilities but you're able to tell that like this is a a storied item it's not like healing potion number 907 this item has some history to it Ooh. righteous yeah that's what that is <laughs> Good. I'm going I'm, to I'm finding up. sorry I'm finding Jamie's Easter eggs on the map no. <laughs> from I, podcasts well, now podcast now podcasts can watch the video <laughs> yeah I'm that's evil. right here but you do see something on the map that's pretty cool as you pointed out and you probably notice it as you're looking at it uh you do see a cool little symbol there uh which you wouldn't recognize immediately on the floor as being Wait. the symbol of uncle blaze Wait, is it actually a symbol? <laughs> yes <laughs> It's not 69. It was more the whole time. Yeah. yeah. Un Uncle Blaze is a fertility god. Yeah. <laughs> so so just can't... to set, set, the, set the scene, Oren is now giggling himself to death behind behind everyone else here. <laughs> when you walk... The oh, God. I can only imagine what Jamie's like in the other room right now. I'm just going to keep, uh, keep on I keeping on I can't see it now. It's 69. <laughs> This is the great temple of Uncle Blaze. Nice. Man. <laughs> Why are we laughing? <laughs> Tell me when you're older. I'm older than you. To, oh, to help our I... podcasters out for context, on the floor, there was like a little little area that looks like the lighting was off or something. So I was like, oh, it looks like 16. Ah, it'll be ha ha funny. Nice joke. Ah, tee hee. But apparently it was one of our symbols in our in our in our setting of lore for uh for basically for Uncle Blaze, which looks like a kind of nearly a diamond that it connects into a swirly bit at the bottom, and it just looked like sixty nine. <laughs> there you go, podcast people, you're you're caught up. He's Today we man. learned that the rod is not just an in-game mechanic, it also applies to the players' brains in real mm. life. Oh. To die. True. Next oh. bit! The interesting thing about the Uncle Blaze is that there are only 420 priests at a time. Uh, next I'm going bit! To, oh, all right, all right, all right, okay. I'm going to uh, uh, reach out <laughs> to, the, to this mace, mm -hmm. uh, knowing now of its more storied properties, and yes. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cast a spell, and I'm going to cast Object Whispers. Ooh, do you want to you want to click in the, the chat? Yeah. Cool. All right, so everybody, this is a this is a rock grind specific spell that only Tanhauser has right now. Yeah. It's cantrip. Um, so you place your hand on a sensitively charged object like this one to learn a piece of information imbued into the object determined by the DM or the GM. The information is typically a pre-prepared sentence or paragraph giving some description of the item. Uh, if you cast it multiple times on the same item, it gives you the same sort of piece of information. Um, in this case, I've already updated the item, so if you open the description, like if you were click on it in Rahu is she, you'd see it, but I'll just read it for everybody so you know. Um, the sidearm of Oak Faith Vent, a servant of the old powers from ages past. Weapon is imbued with magical runes and the essence of primal moss. When the shining beneficite conquered outset, Vent found a new way to burn. 
gem. Interesting. History has brought this mace to us. And knowing what I know, I'm going to reach out to the mace. And this is a moss-covered mace, right? It is a moss-covered light mace, yes. Okay. Can I potentially cut off a small piece of moss from it? Um, so with your with your like prior checks and Oren's checks, you would know that what this moss is equivalent of is like an etched rune. So you would know that like weapons can have runes etched into them um, to make them more powerful, to give them like flaming properties or your typical magic enhancements, right? Uh, the moss that's growing here is essentially that version of etching on this weapon. So you can't really take it off without spending time and doing like a full crafting check with proper resources to uninscribe it. But what you would know is that if you had those capabilities, like say you were in town, had crafting kit, all that stuff, you could actually take this mossy property off of the mace and put it onto another weapon. Interesting. Yeah. I'm going to then look at Rahua and I'm going to say Rahua I say we test this flame. What do you have in mind? Follow my lead. And let us observe this fire. Whatever you say, friend. Thanks, buddy. And uh, I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to walk forward. Okay, oh. so so Rahua and uh, and Tanhauser kind of advance together. <laughs> God damn it! We shall behold your flame. This can only go well. We have. I like to I like to vote for Baldrick's thing because I think he had a whole thing set up to give him a chance to. <laughs> say I was gonna say you guys like took this entire opportunity to look at a mace and be like, ah, this is the solution to our problems. Let's go look at the fire that these corpses. <laughs> oh well, well, no, because. The plan is to use the mace to see if this is super evil or not. Ah, uh, just forget it. Go ahead. Oh, no. Oh, if you had something no, else. No, right? I, yeah. I, I was going to say we need to be more careful and cautious because, like, these guys look like they've been desiccated by a fire. I know. It was trying. It, it's the idea was, as I'll explain my plan, as I was going to take the mace. I was going to hold it over the fire. Since the mace has anti-rot properties, the fire would probably react. And if it reacted really badly, that probably means these guys are rotten. I think we could tell that with, like, a check of some kind, couldn't we? Absolutely, if any of you want to to make a, like, check of I'm not, creatures. I'm unfortunately I'm not well-equipped to, like, identify these kinds. I, I, like, I can't roll society to be like, ah, the society sure. of... Or would like jerky. to look to see if they're rotten with a nature check. Um, okay, uh, nature's probably not, uh, Rahua, you have religion, don't you? I do. You wanna, you wanna give me one of them religion checks real quick? That's sure thing. The, it's gonna probably be the, the, the bigger, the bigger sell here for these things. Ooh, 11. 18. Or 18, okay, 18 total. Alright, so you do recognize these. These are, um, obviously undead, uh, creatures. Um, they're likely tied in some way to uh, this fire and Uncle Blaze because they are they are not your like typical mindless undead like the fact that this one is speaking with you indicates an intelligence uh, the fact that they are just attacking you indicates you know some something that is not just like the rot which is very alien and often attacks and in fact um, with that much of a check you also know that the rot is different from un like undeath and there's in the world there's a lot of people who sort of uh, misconstrue the rot as being the same as like negative energy or death they aren't and in fact undead creatures can be afflicted with the rot uh, and it will take over even mindless zombies that are animated more with negative energy in this case these are natural undead and they look not to be tainted by the rot in any way um, they're probably tied as far as you can guess with this fire though so they're not quite unique creatures but they're not not a, a common type of undead so you're not sure on specifics about them beyond that hmm well based on what I can glean they are not afflicted as one may assume with 
everything else we have encountered thus far. So they may not be overtly hostile. But we could get rid of them. I mean, they are undead, are unnatural. Oh, uh, hold on just a second there. It could be... Hey, he's gonna... Baldrick's gonna try to bark out to the one that spoke to him. You have anything other than asking us if we want to view the fire to say? At all? What do you mean? Who are you? We are the fume congregants. We are the tenders of this fire and this place. What is this place? We kind of fell down here on accident. I see. His face sort of looks over each of you in turn. This was a temple to the glories of the old powers. Each of the old powers was given a shrine down here from whence to worship underneath the the greater shrine of the preeminent power of the time above. You know, the power above seems to be a black vat of sludge. No. The power above is she who was in ascendance at the time. It was Auntie Drown. Mm. When you say, look into the flame, we gonna become like you if we do that? What is this? No. The flame imparts knowledge. It is destruction and freedom from oppression. It gives the knowledge of unbridled flame to those who can look into it, unlocking their potential. We are tied to the fire. We tend to it, but we will not last forever. But should the knowledge pass to one or more, then our vigil can be ended. For uh, safety's sake, can I quickly... I'm not going to do, like, quick alchemy. I'd really rather have this potion on hand. Mm -hmm. Can I use my last one to make an elixir of minor life? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, I'm going to just hold on to that one if I can. Okay. I don't have to roll for that, right? No, no, no. I, I mean, like, normally you do it during your prep time, but you've had a lot of downtime, so I'm, I'm A-OK -okay with you just kind of like putting this together uh less less on the fly but more okay i you prepared this absolutely i have a distinct feeling when we're about to learn something here he means that we're about to get licked by fire oh just get ready i'm always ready but i like the cart up their jib all right had to make sure kind of fell down into a uh well a hole in the ground Oh, yes. Pardon our hesitation. It is all right. You... You will survive here. You will endure here. I will have a cat jump on my desk. Hi. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> Red. Aww. Undead cat. Tigger says hi, no. everybody. Um, regular cat. Yeah, regular cat. Okay. Sorry about that. She also apparently closed the window. Good job, Cat. Okay. Uh, yeah, so so this thing just sort of, like, like continues looking at you. We ask only one look into the flame, but it seems you send us two. Yes, two is also acceptable. Uh, I'll step up. Valley, you want to... Me? Yeah, join the party. Why not? Come look into the fire with the rest of us. Pretty sure yeah. as soon as we're done with it, these guys are all going to fall apart, so whatever knowledge they have, I guess it'll stick with us. Might as well while we're down here. Gay. One of the other ones steps up. Wait. You too. And, again, this one's hooded still, but the desiccated finger that like almost is licked to the bone and charred black points to both Rahua and Tannhauser. Those two are the two who have not completed, who have not benefited 
They should be the ones to look. All right. Benefited. Steps back. <laughs> Should I help us feel a bit better before we do this? Yeah. Both of us are nice. a bit torn up. Yeah, on that note, Tannhauser, here. He's gonna reach into his pack and procure the uh the elixir. Uh, thank you. I'll uh I'll take a big old swig and hope it's not rat poison. Oh, very good. <laughs> very good. All right, let me let me use it for you. Yeah, I'll just apply the healing to him. So. Oh, nice. That's actually not terrible. Five. Yeah. Not watered down. There you go. Ah, uh, I feel the body politic rejoin. Yeah, keep that up. I'll just poison you instead. All right, all right, fine. <laughs> Get away from me. I'm scared of you. <laughs> Go on, go get imbued with knowledge or whatever these guys are asking. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if I should use the healing potion minor at this point? Or do I... Th uh, actually, I would like to check Thurston. Do I have enough to try and mend myself a little bit before we do this? Uh, well, you said you were going to do some sort of heal. Um, like, what, what, what are you... Like, what kind of effect are you wanting to do here? Well, I could use, I could just cast heal and give everybody a little bit of fun time, good feel juice. Yeah, you absolutely could do that. I would love to then cast heal at third level. Ooh. Or well, uh, that's, that's well, high. I, you want three action. Three action. Might I, I'm, still, yeah. I'm still getting used how to na it. How naive is Rahua? Uh, On a scale naive. of one Let's, to ten, like a two, two or okay. three. Just gonna. Is it your intent to catch the fume congregants in the burst of your? What he's what he's trying to say. So if you do in three yeah. action heal, those two undead will be harmed, and now it's now it's fisty cuffed time. So you can step no. back. <laughs> Thanks, Zoran. Sure I'm, I'm not letting I'm not letting Thurston do that. I'm not letting like, Thurston let you fall. Like, hostile ah. GM, hostile GM. Hulky, heal yourself. Heal thyself, fool. <laughs> yeah, heal, two wait, action. Heal yourself. Here, we have sat here in the in the mouth of this thing for too long now. <laughs> All right, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Since you're going up, you can heal yourself. Absolutely. Uh, if you want right. to do the two, the two for heal on yourself, that's cool. Holy yeah. Toledo, where'd all these people come from? I then will. Don't do worry about it. Keep going. Keep so, going. Keep going. Yeah. Rahul will shake himself just a little bit before tilting his head back and just letting out a primal shriek of like, Argh! just a horrible, horrible sound as black energy just leeches off the ends of his body, the leaves on him, and just gets sucked in towards the black core at his chest. Oh, so true, I wanna, Bessie. Can I, can I point out the difference between mine smells like car pine freshener versus whatever the fuck that was? They're two very <laughs> distinct heels. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm All really right, healing roll. myself. Who's yeah, to say troll. it won't be nice to somebody else? No, yeah. no. Roll your, we don't want to kill your... our friends. God damn, all right. roll your thing. Here you go. Yeah. It's a four. That's, that's it's a bad. So remember, you also get plus eight to that because it's a two, right? Yes. So I will give you double. Oh, no, not damage. Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> no, no, I'm hurting. Oh, for two. goodness. That shit <laughs> hurt him. <laughs> right. <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> I apologize. You did a two action heal, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. There we yeah, go. So I healed it's you. Eight, there we it's go. eight plus that, so. Yeah. yeah Thank yeah. you. There we go. Thank you for healing oh. me after hurting me, GM. Yeah. Well, you know. Oh, oh, GM. So, 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 yeah. Oh, both both so you and Tannhauser are feeling you. feeling much better. Uh, as 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 you finish up healing, the the two uh, fume congregants step aside, admitting the fifteen foot wide stairway that leads up into the burning brazier. Excellent. Now let us. Go forth. Go on, and, go learn. And, I'm and going, as you like I'm... pass the the two of them bow their heads and like they, they, they begin speaking in this call. 
kind of un- unknowable dialect, but as they, they speak, uh, Oren, you can hear what they're saying because they are speaking in Druidic. And they are Whoa. giving, they are giving uh, um, uh, homage to Gatherim, or the Uncle Blaze, as, as most people know him. Let them look into the fire. Let them see the truth of things. Let them learn. Let them preserve the knowledge. Okay. And so both of you, like, walk up the steps. There, there's sort of the would, uh, chant. Would from Orin know? Yeah. Would Orin know if this is a good or bad thing? Do you have religion? <laughs> Do you, have you found Jesus? Yeah. <laughs> He's not trained, but have a plus uh, four. Well, give me a check then. That's fine. Clack a clack. Eighteen. Click. 18. Um, yeah, you can tell that these are like fairly common. Um, these are fairly common sorts of prayers. You you know a good amount about the old powers, and this would be very, very common. Uh, you would also know that like one of the, the sort of like points of of importance to Uncle Blaze are like bonfires and, and, and braziers like this. So they're very this is very clearly like a religious ceremony that is that is common to these uh, to these worshippers. goes righteous and watches okay uh, so saying? so both uh Tannhauser and Rahua you come up to the flames uh they're they're actually quite um quite nice like you're you're not like feeling your skin burning or crisping as you approach the it's it's coming up almost like a cone though obviously erratic at the sides uh, about 20 feet just about another 20 feet under the ceiling, giving this massive illumination to the chamber. There, There is, like, crackling fire here, uh, and you both come up side by side beside it. I appreciate your bravery in joining me, Rua. Well, do not mistake bravery for foolishness, after all. No, I think it wise. You are made of wood, most commonly known for kindling, and while your true form is that of a burning star, your body knows weakness. Well, I too was once broken by fire, but though my body frayed, my soul burnt on, and now we come to clean its secrets. So that you is are first. You know how something can destroy, yet create something anew. That is the natural thing of this world. You, you and I will, you and I will talk much on this subject later. Yes, I am more than a brute and a revolutionary. I am a philosopher. And with that, I'm going to look deep into the fire. Absolutely. Uh, Rahua, I assume at that point your sort of like strange, emotionless face tilts towards the fire to let your ocular gaze into it as well. <laughs> Correct. Rahua's going to ha- stick his hands out towards the fire, much like anyone would do warming themselves by it, just to feel yeah. it. Yeah. Can Tannhauser's eyes with his little things, when he gets look into it, like furrowed brow, angry, and then all years, sh- as like sunglass, like things <laughs> go over the glass. <laughs> <laughs> fire, fire reflected. Yeah. One thing I notice, and I only notice now, is that yeah. Tannhauser and Rahua both have green glass eyes. Yeah. They were meant Rahua. to be. Yeah, best friends forever. Right. Was, what Give me will saves. Okay, I'll fail. Okay, this <laughs> give me will saves. <laughs> well, you can't always do a good thing, so I guess I'll do a will save. Here we go. Best don't worry, don't worry. if you didn't do too good of a job, I can still throw a pesh pine grenade at you. It's time to use a hero point. Okay. <laughs> Try it again. Has her, yeah, it's it's worse. Worse. I'm going to oh. hero point this one as well. Oh, I'm stronger gosh. than that. Okay. okay. Tanhauser improved one. his 12 by, by 1 to it, 13. <laughs> Like Come on! Wow. Can I can Fuck I use no. another here? No, you can't. <laughs> All right. So both of you stare into uh, the fire. Both of you feel it pressing against the side of your skulls as you look into licking flames moving back and forth. This collage of red and orange and yellow and pure white dancing around. Eventually it seems as though it becomes more liquid than raw flame, as though it becomes more like clouds, as though it becomes 
flickering charcoal, like all of the elements are somehow represented in this flame, but it keeps, keeps burning, and you stare into it, and eventually both of you, both of you receive sights, but both of you receive different sights. Uh, for you, Tannhauser, you are seeing not the revolution you want. You are seeing the streets of Outset run rampant with screaming, worried citizens. You see great shadowy hulks rushing down the streets as though mounted atop a brutal beast, running down citizens. You see there are flames licking out. There are shadowy specters moving out of alleyways, dragging people in. You hear screams. You hear worry. You hear panic. And then you hear the most god-awfully smug laughter you've heard in your life that I would if if I were to get someone to voice act its speaker, I would get you to voice act this <laughs> smug laugh because it is that penetrating as you hear it coming from behind the wall of these shadow forces preying on the people of Outset for a terrifying moment, and then then you the vision becomes a pure a pure white. Rahua, you look into the flames, and rather than seeing this sight of, of civic carnage, you find yourself out in the swamp. You find yourself clearly outside of the city of Outset, in the, the, the vast swamplands known as the Solitude, the punishment of the old powers for the previous citizens of Outset's hubris and expanding beyond their defined borders. You're, you're living a calm life. You're enjoying the the flora and fauna of this teeming place, but you can see a sickness growing from within the deepest bogs. You can see a sickness that seems to spread throughout the solitude, a blackness overcoming all, the sticky sight of the rot, and you scream against it with the full force of anarchy. And as this happens, as both of you look in and receive these visages, each of the fume congregants along the stepways burst into piles of ash, dissolving down onto the ground. One by one, they explode in a burst and then disappear as though... Their, their life essence itself is spent. And they collapse. Even their equipment simply falling apart. I'm going to see if this looks cool. It's probably not going to look cool. But... <sighs> yeah, look at that. Um, as they, they literally just combust and burst apart. One by one by one by one. Hey, Thurston, before you get the last one. Vision. Yeah, oh, no, no, no. The last one is not disappearing yet. Okay, good. Um... And in fact, you see this this last one sort of stand as both uh, Rahua and Tannhauser, you stagger back from the flames, taking taking a brunt of damage. Um, both of you, having not done particularly great, um, take seven points of mental damage from just the stress of what you've seen. And then you recoil back, basically staggering down the steps, not falling, uh, but but staggering just, just a ways back um, as the fume congregant turns, the last remaining one turns and looks at both of you and then to, the, to, your, to your companions and then back. You have seen the knowledge of fire. You are all touched by the old powers. One of them protects you. One of them will see you to your destiny. That is what you have now. That is what you are now. And as that happens, you can see the congregant begin to, rather than dissolve into into ash, fire billows out from him and seems to like consume his body. As he does look over to 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 the three of you back by the door, uh, Baldrick, if you wanted to do anything as you see this happening. Um, uh, Baldrick is assuming that this is probably the end of this guy. Uh, Baldrick's gonna 
take a quick second and jam his hands into his pockets. Not to, like, pull anything out, just like he's taking this in. Hey, Gagargan. You had a name once, didn't you? Names are forgotten things. And, like, the fire is now consuming up to his face, and you see, like, everything but his mouth is now consumed. What matters is deeds. And the fire goes over his mouth. Do not forget us or this place. And then the fire completely absorbs him. And with that, almost as the la uh, at the exact same moment that the fume congregant, the last one, is consumed in these flames, the, the light in the brazier turns off and the room goes into a near darkness, save for the, the light of Rahua that still glows. Hmm. Godly prophets and whatnot, favoring deeds over names. What a waste. It's always God stuff. I hate God stuff. Well, it seems like uh, he implied that all of us have been chosen by a different deity. Uh, We've only been yourself. in two rooms so far. Speak for yourself. I'm not exactly describing to any god's great big plan. Not yet. I don't know if we have a choice. No, oh, I'm gonna make damn sure it's a choice. Hmm. Not doing no great and mighty beings bidding unless they can make life better for those people up there. I if like the, that. If the gods seek to lend their power to my cause, then I will take it. But rest assured, we are no things, bauble. <laughs> right. Good. I like the sound Tenhauser. of that. Tenhauser. Yes. What did you see in the fire? No doubt the same as you. The city ablaze. Spectres taking the innocent and guilty alike. A world of devastation under a blood red sky. I saw the swamps outside the city. Pristine. Natural. Consumed by something far, far less so. A sickness, a clot, of cloying darkness eating all that there was. There is something evil. No, beyond evil out there. I may not know much, but I know that it must be destroyed. Our destiny is one of obliteration. In order for the forest to grow and for civilizations to rise, there must be sacrifices to light the fires and clear the soil. We shall see to it and guard in the new age. Listen, this is all well and good. Shall we get out of here now? Yeah, I'm tired. Bro, uh, <laughs> I need you to see. <laughs> yeah, um, and so you you continue on. Uh, at this point, you can tell, like, to, to the north, uh, Rahua, um, if we shimmy your light source back here real quick, um, you'll note that the, the northwest passage is also covered entirely by these thick roots that have overtaken. So whatever the fourth chamber was here is completely overcome and inaccessible at this time. Uh, the thick sort Lucilia. of rotten, vested elements take, having taken well root in here. Well, fellas, should we, uh, should we go in all the way? No more God stuff. It's not good for you. Gets in your head. Could well, say that again. Well, if we've been we chosen by the gods for some grand destiny, I'm here for it. Here's the Scrum. problem. Whatever the gods may have planned for us, we're still trapped in an underground passage. Let's go back up and see if we can find another way out of here. Fair enough. Okay, uh, so we're gonna we're gonna head back up to to the first floor. As we uh, as we do that, however, uh, Rahua and Tanhauser, both of you have had revelations from the flame. 
Um, the first of which is Rahua. You will now have a new cantrip on your spell list. It is called Anarchic Barrage. It has unlocked the power of chaos in you, allowing you to cast a unique cantrip that will essentially uh, allow you to make uh, attacks with like the chaotic tides of entropy. Uh, so you can make a spell attack roll and it does a random physical type of damage. And so this is just like representing more your connection to to chaos itself as a being of chaos. Also, for everyone listening, Hulky and I designed this spell together. Hooray! Oh, Collaborate! Yeah. For, uh, for Tannhauser, uh, the speaker, if you open up your character sheet, you will see that I have added several spells to your preparation shortlist, which are now ingrained uh -huh. in your memory and on your in your spell book for easy access. These include um, these include these spells Ash Cloud, Continual Flame, Flaming Sphere, Resist Energy, Scorching Ray, and Produce Flame. These are spicy meatballs. And burning hands. Cool. Of course, now he has something he can cast when, when he's doing his funny magic attack. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but with that, I think we are going to head back up to the first floor. But I think this is probably a good opportunity for us to take our break. Break time. Before we come back. Break time. Break, break time. All right, guys, break we're going to be up. right back. Yeah. Oh, Keep the fire burning. As our adventurers take a break, we'd like to take a moment and thank our sponsor, you. You sharing the videos, advertising the streams, and supporting us on Patreon makes everything we do here happen. You help us create the show, create a custom tabletop RPG setting for your campaigns, create monsters, items, spells, and more, all for you. If you love what you've seen so far, or if you want to use the monsters and assets used in the show, please visit our website at www.narrativedeclaration.com for our Patreon and more. Hey, we're back. Gaming. We're back. We're back. Gamers. God. Engineer gaming. It should have been Tarek Nor. You guys are right. All right. So, real quick, I wanna I wanna recap some stuff for our players as we and our, and our uh, steamed audience. So, our players have now gone through the 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 lower uh, floor of this strange complex they found themselves in, um, where they went through three different chambers. The first one had a glowing crystal and was obviously associated with Mama Decay, and from that, Baldric got the uh, the lesser moss bomb formula and a lesser moss bomb. Uh, Volley found some bracers. Then they went into the the second room, which is where we started today. They they overcame a trap from Papa Storm, got that uh, plus one mossy light mace, got a scroll case that they haven't looked at, got some, some gemstones, and then finally they went into the, the shrine to, uh, to Uncle Blaze, where they... Well, particularly uh, Rahua and Tannhauser gained some some new um, magical knowledge. Uh, with all of that... Uh, and, in play, they have completed the the sort of shrine tasks that were in the the lower level, and with nowhere else to go, they have climbed back up uh, to to where they had landed, the sort of still purified uh, pool of water, which I'm sure we will not waste another hour of testing out. Uh, a door to the north that leads, as, as the party knows, to like a collapsed area, um, and then a door to the east, which leads to a large room filled with pillars and a stone basin in the center of murky black water um, with some of the black icor dripping off roots that have burst through the ceiling and into it. And then a large set of double doors on the opposite end of the chamber, um, which now have three faint glows to them as though there's uh, three gemstones that are illuminating or well, giving off light from the door on the opposite side of this large chamber. And that's where we are. <gasps> Good. All right. So there's just that one chamber with all of the uh, rot left. Yeah. yeah. Apparently this is supposed to be for Auntie Drown. Yeah. I, I am a little worried as to what the rot might... Uh, might mean for that. So maybe we should um, take this opportunity to catch our breath for a second. 
sift through the things we've gotten, make sure we're ready. I mean, we could charge right in. That would be awesome. But I hurty. Yeah, well, I'm can't. good for a little sit down. I can't do much more to help, unfortunately. Am I? Uh, I might be able to help now. Yes, perhaps that is wise. Rahua, if you may heal our wounds, that would be pretty cool. Almost a base. I, I respect your decision to hold that back. I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> I almost. I know that was Ted Hosley. Ted Hosley wouldn't say that. He's not on the internet. Are you? Uh, are you wanting to to do some like uh, treat wounds out of combat on people? Yes, yes, I would. Because okay. I believe I used up my spell slot for healing. Absolutely. All right. So, um, like, we'll assume you're all taking like a ten minute breather. That's a okay. I mean, um, what's stopping us from just taking a long rest and getting everything back up and spell uh, slots, et cetera? Oh, the uh, book so goblin. Like eight hours? <laughs> you can. Yeah, maybe you should just give up. <laughs> just give up and go home. Let's dog. Everyone adventuring is scary. Let's go to sleep. Let's get out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll start. I get inside that pot we left here and I just curl yeah. up. Everyone, the healing spring will salve our wounds. Let's it's go. Water. No. Splish splash. <laughs> I t- wait, focus. wait. Gorn gets, Gorn gets inside and then he starts basically like fluttering his wings and stuff like he's having a bird bath. Ah. Or who was gonna usher everybody into the heal the well it's just water, but it's Yeah, I'm about to say it's not healing water. We've determined this after much testing. It'll make it it'll make it much easier for this. They're just less stinky now. I'll you guys go ahead. I'm gonna stand watch. Swimming is fun. Oh yeah, check to see if there are any fishes, Tanny. Oh that's right! I'm gonna start uh looking for fish. <laughs> <laughs> You, you, Thurston, you had to open your big mouth and be like, oh, well, we've wasted enough time on this pool. Let's find more things. To big Buster, I want to ward a Warcraft fish in this puddle. Okay, oh, wait, we're going to invite Alpha? Okay, 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 okay. Everybody into the Bloom. pool right now. Uh, is there a particular reason? Well, you're, I'm going to help you heal, feel better. Yeah, you do that, okay. I'm keeping watch. Rahua. I'm just gonna sit on the side of the pool. Oh, you have to come in here too. I get in the water, how much damage do I take? <laughs> <laughs> it's like Alpha Busa is really oh. here. <laughs> what is that electric shock? <laughs> That's just me animating my energy. I lay down <laughs> in the pool. How long does it take for me to drown? Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay, so 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 to, to clarify, are you guys actually just going to sleep in this room? Is that your plan? No, oh, I think we're going to heal our sleep. ass. Okay. Yeah. All right, Rahua, are you going to go over and give everybody medicine checks? Correct, but I would like to spend a hero point to make a narrative declaration. Okay. <laughs> I like it. So once everybody saunters into the pool and decides to get soggy again. Thank you very much for your sacrifices, by the way. Who was the... I don't really necessarily want to call it an eyelid, but just a shudder comes down over his ocular lens, his eye. We'll just believe it there, his eye. And he just outstretches his palms and raises them slightly while waist deep in the water. And as he does this, a... what could best be described as a coat of vines descends from the lower part of his carapace on his back almost like a physical coat, into the water, snaking around on the bottom of this pool. Uh, Spots popping up here and there as the vines move their way up towards the surface of the water, blooming as a lambent yellow glow emanates from these flowers, and that will essentially constitute me making healing checks for all of you. You're just bathed in this natural aura. Oh. That's... wow. I was about to say, I hope you didn't turn the say that the water turns yellow because I was going to just. No. <laughs> I'd say get your mind out of the gutter, but we are kind of in a gutter. Don't drink the yellow water. <laughs> Healing yellow. Healing. Begin, Healing. The, begin the, 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 the roll. Right. On call GM, I die. No. That's fair. Uh, who is that on? You have to pick your people. Remember. Oh. Pizza. Okay. Uh, we'll start with Tannhauser. We'll go top bottom. Yeah, clockwise. I got it. 
Yeah, you know, yeah. Clock, clock a weasel. Okay, so a fifteen is fine. That'll get two d eight. You may roll two d eight on Tannhauser. I will do just that for him. Yes. Someone had just said it went from the coin to monster energy. Oh <laughs> <laughs> wow. You get fourteen points back. All right. <sighs> give 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 me your medicine check or your nature check on uh, Oren. Sure thing. Here comes the one. Yeah. Whoa. Oh. Okay, he passed. Seventeen. Yeah, still still pass. Uh, you may uh, you may roll two d eight. Here we go. He's gonna kill Folly. That's where we're going. No. Uh, I can, I can get your it. actions right, affect right, other right. people, Orin. Okay, give me, give me, uh, give me the check for Volley as well. Curse I the really dice don't want to eat. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here comes the natural one. There it is. Yes. There it is. Yes. Yes. There it is. I love that yes! there's like there's magical like bulbs and okay I'm gonna I'm here's here's what I'm gonna say though okay and I'm gonna say it this way I uh Rahua you you gave a narrative declaration literally so you could just narrate some stuff and still did the rules as normal so I'm going to allow you to use that narrative declaration to re-roll this fucking fail because otherwise you just spent a hero point just to read prose to us so. <laughs> look I did some things that weren't described in my character you're ju this gestalt stupidity that we all embody decided to make that dice roll fail so I will take you up I'll the, take the that natural you one me. Hulky, the natural one would have caused a Venus flytrap to spawn behind her yeah. <laughs> it's like oh this is so lovely and healing it's like I just imagine why you're being Almost like a stun. Uh, Fifteen me now. Two D eight to heal. Okay. Oh, oh you will succeed. I we'll see, <laughs> see that one of the last vines to one of the last vines that have snaked out has finally made its way to the surface. Clearly, the, the least among them, and it blooms into a nice blue lily. Yeah, it's, it's and also says, "Feed me, Seymour." Uh, I want you to know it's how fucking it does not I'm secrete so, venom. I'm so fucking happy. <laughs> well, yeah, with the natural one, myself Bolly, as well. like, Bolly like was about to lean in to eat it, and uh, Rukua had to be like, no. <laughs> not that one. <laughs> not how it works. <laughs> All right. So oh, yeah. after some time. Uh, yes. He needs to heal himself. Um, He can. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can. I, I mean, he narratively good. declared that he could do that. So come yeah, on. so so do it. Roll for yourself. Roll another yeah. one. For yeah, roll a monkey. roll a six. A oh, that'll fail though. So it's not good. Oh, Oren will come up to <laughs> yes. uh, and go like, "Hey, man, don't worry, I got you." I'm gonna cast my healing plaster, so I have a healing thing, and I will do a healing. Please check. Please fail. On Rahua. Please fail. I First to know if you got your one. I got a 26. Yeah. I crit. Take this one. Yeah, You're... so you'll heal him for 4d8. Yep. Wow. That wasn't necessary. <laughs> there you go. You got healed 19. I think I'm okay. You think you fixed my psychic wounds, so thank you. Nice. You're welcome. Half Life 2 medkit pickup noise. <laughs> 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 Frog has been dispensed. All right. So after your weird tree baptism thing in the pool, um, what you guys doing hot tubbing? I think yes. we are on Twitch. Yeah. Yeah. All, all hey. set. <laughs> D and D hot tub stream coming right yeah. at you. Congratulations, Congratulations everyone! You have survived the hot tub challenge. She's new meta. What was new the meta. Challenge? I don't know, but we lived through it. Okay. Come on. Oh, and are you going to leave the pool? No. I'm done with my oh, bath. There we go. Shake it out, buddy. Okay. Now. Shudders his wings. <laughs> we're in better condition. We go through and deal with whatever's on the other side of this. I got a bad feeling about this. Yes, indeedy. Then why don't you let me take point? I'm going point with you. All right. Well, well I would together. if Thurston would let me move. Why are yeah, you Thurston. Going Wait, Baldrick. You should, you should be allowed to move. I can't move forward. There we go. Now yeah, sometimes uh, the arrow key movement thing must be a little laggy, so just drag. Yeah. Get on in here. Yeah, I'm basically getting up to here, and then I'm stopping. Okay. Okay. All right. So I'm okay. in front of Oren. And then. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. This is cool. this is formation. This is formation. This is good. Okay. Cool. 
All right, so a few things all happen at once. A goblin! Uh, first of all, as you traverse through, you can see the basin in the center of the room, uh, the dripping sound. You can hear the bloop. As the black ichor comes from the, the, the rotten vines in the ceiling. Um, further up ahead, you can see the door to the east, uh, the, the opposite end of the room. There are now, you, you can see it clearly uh, just past the sort of basin that's in the middle of this depression of, of foul water. Uh, you can see that there are four um, indentations, three of which are glowing. Um, and you can see the colors of green. Um, sorry, green, a white coloration, and then a red coloration glowing. The fourth one does not glow. Uh, as you enter in, however, behind you, a, a curtain wall of fog occupies the door. Oh, oh <laughs> shit. Um, and slowly oh, in the background, a Gregorian chant begins as the right, basin... The basin lifts up out of the water. Oh. And as it rises up, you see something emerge from the water, clutching onto the basin. It is a large creature holding the basin with two arms uh, above its head, two arms underneath, giving it four arms total. One of its lower arms clutches on to a brutal looking spear weapon. The other one clutches onto a almost like mutated arm that is bulked out to massive proportions. It has like multi layers of eyes coming down its face um, and its mouth as it opens leaks out black fluid that goes all along its all along its body. And you can see that it has, like, rotten tumors, literally marks of the rot on it, along with planked pieces of wood. It lets out a sad, like, almost pitiable roar as it steps out of the water. And then I'm going to get all of you to mark yourselves in combat. No, and, I don't think we need combat. Yeah, I'm, you I mean, know, I'm and, uh, can we find yeah. a diplomatic solution? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can try! Um, hey, buddy, you doing okay? Yeah, I have hey, to coffee. say, also, I this monster looks fucking incredible. I know. Yeah, oh. Good job, just, Skelly Bean. Good job. Oh, that's good. I all right, if you want to all roll your initiatives, please. Yes, indeedy dandy. Say yes, sir! Society. Thurston, since I'm in the back, can I roll stealth? <laughs> uh, you were, you, okay, you've been, like, the most quiet of everybody, so sure, Baldrick. You Hell know, yeah! Who, like, every time up until now has been like, I'm advancing quietly, I'm advancing <laughs> very slowly and tactically, <laughs> I, I am not someone who's going to run into this volley at the front, fuck it, what? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, come okay. on. Smoke bomb, please do something. Do it up. Ah! Uh, <laughs> close the two. All right. Uh, so, all right. whatever. so, one to explain and two so I can announce everyone's initiatives for podcast people. Uh, yeah. Basically, Pathfinder 2nd Edition, you don't just roll, like, initiative and that's a thing. Say, yes. for example, if you're, like, you're a barbarian charging, the Game Master might allow you to use your athletic score for, um, for initiative. But in this case, if you're sneaking around, you can use your stealth to basically roll your initiative. And so Path for Second Edition encourages you to use your skills for a lot of things. So if that's why you're confused um, and you're only used to 5e stuff, that's what differentiates yeah. Pathfinder 2e a little bit. It allows, it allows you to use your other skills a lot more. So the Drown Devoted got 28. On his thing, mm -hmm. so it's going first. Ooh. Valley's mm -hmm. going second with a 19. Danhouse is going third with an 18. Oren's going fourth with a 14. Rahua's going fifth with a 13. And Baldur's going last with an eighth. With an eight, because I rolled a fucking two. Okay. Um, all right. So let I'll us pause it, begin. by the way. Uh, yeah. yeah. All right. So the immense figure, uh, this giant creature that, um, 
you have no idea what it is, um, steps towards you, like, out of the pool. Um, and it moves to there. Uh, it stops there. Um, that was its first action. Its second action is to attack Volley from range That's with this sad. massive bident. Um, it goes out towards you, Volley. Yep. And, um, let's see here. Who here remembers the Saints Biden from Dark Souls 3? This is critically the hits you for 28 points of damage. If I nimble dodge that, yeah. would it uh, make that not a crit? Uh, what's your AC? Uh, my AC is a 19. A 19. That. Wait, your AC is a 19. No, because I rolled a 31, so no. Oh! Uh, funny story. I'm down. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. It, like, it just smashes you and you go down. Ow! I will apply Ow. the damage. Dunk! Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, Vali. Oh, she's gone. <laughs> yeah, she's gone forever. No. Uh, so, Vali, you fall down and immediately gain the dying condition. Uh. Uh, that then reorients you in the initiative to above the drowned devoted. If it was a crit, she'd be at dying too, I think. Oh, that's right. Thank you. Thank you, Zora. Uh, it's, it's very true. Uh, okay. Uh, so this thing walks up, slams at you with its bident, smashing into you once. Uh, that's just enough. Like, you feel like you, all of you hear, like, bones break as this thing impacts, and then it takes another step forward. Good. Thurston, I have, to, I have a question to ask. Yes. Because we took that opportunity to just heal up in the pool, I'm assuming we didn't rest and I didn't get any of my charges back, right? Correct. Good. Yep. Uh, that it then steps up another five feet to advance on all of you. Tannhauser, you're up. Tintivali! I'll take him. And I'm going to reach out with my blade. I'm going to activate my internal disentanglement engine, and I'm going to make a spell strike at this fiend. Absolutely. All right, so let's rock, baby. Uh, here we go. Let's boss, baby. Let's boss, baby. You'll hit it. All right, cool, cool. Uh, I'm going to hit. Uh, I will... Roll some damage. Whoa! Oh, wait, no. Okay. So I'm just going to roll damage for this. Okay. Uh, um, great. It's just three. Um, mm -hmm. and, I'm going, spell. and I'm going to be channeling my only first level spell slot. Okay. Um, shocking Grasp. Okay. Um, and uh, we're going to rock it. Oh. Uh. 11 extra points, absolutely. 11. So the energy arcs over this creature and it, it takes severe damage from, from your uh, your shocking grasp as it goes into it. And it lets out a roar um, in frustration at what you've done. And then uh, it sh as a reaction, it shakes the basin that the two upper arms are holding, causing some of this like rotten water to splash out. Can you give me a reflex save? Yes. Um, I will also... Oh, thank God. Before oh, I do no that, fuck. on account of their metal pauldrons, mm -hmm. I'm going to uh, inform you that they'll be taking some persistent damage. Oh, just okay. Well. Absolutely. Um, also, the fact if you want to just wet. put post the spell um, in there, I think yeah. I can just drag it over. So no worries. Uh, I think they take it now, but I, again, I, I'm not 100 percent sure. Uh, oh. it's, if, if it's persistent, he'll take it on his turn. Yeah, I'll just roll attack with it real quick. That might. Uh, with what? No, oh. no, no. no. Shot. I, I, I'm trying to go. I got you. I got Thank you. you. Thank you, King. Okay. Anyway, I got you. Um, you needed reflex for me, and I will give it to you now. Uh, Thurston, I have to ask. Yeah. Are you, are you seeing what I'm measuring? Um, yeah, no, 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 no. It's only on the person who initiated okay. it. So we're good. Yeah. Don't worry about that. Yeah. Uh, uh, 27. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, 27 will be enough to succeed. So you will only take... Um, five points of rot damage. 
Too far, too far. As this stuff hits you and you can feel like your skin, like almost just shrivel and twist as it touches you. And you can hear this thing bellow to as the water splashing. Disgusting. Uh, is that the end of your round? Uh, I believe it is. Cool. Um, you want to click the next person? No. Well, I'm going to oh. ask you to anyways. Oh. Oren, <laughs> you're up. My, my pal, my buddy, my friend. Oren's going to look at Rahua going, Help, Vali! And he's immediately going to start shifting and changing as he is rushing behind the beast. And I am going to wild shape. Okay. And what I can do... It is take an animal form of a bear. And I'm gonna do all that stuff. All I gotta do is drag and drop. And for that, it's gonna, it's gonna be one focus thing that I have to do, which is two actions. And for my final action, I'm gonna get behind him this way. Nope, sorry. Can't do that. Can't, I have to go this go, way. You'd have to go there, yeah. yeah, yeah what yeah. are you changing into? Bear. Uh, bear, I bear, said. Bear, hell yeah. Okay, cool. Bear. Absolutely. Okay, cool. So cast it and then move to to buy it. Absolutely. All right, you want to uh, pass on the ball as you rush yeah, forward. Sorry, I'm managing it music because I decided to reset it. So, oh, all right. I'll, 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 I'll do it. Yeah. Okay. I got it. Rahua, you're up. All right, so seeing my Conrad arms get absolutely fucking dunked on by a mm -hmm. giant Biden. Yep. I'm gonna I'm gonna fix this. So I'm gonna cast stabilize. Okay. Control Biden. Biden. Uh, tell do tell the class what stabilize does. So no. stabilize positive energy because I'm a very positive person okay. shuts death's door. That therefore she loses the dying condition though remaining okay. unconscious. Okay. So I will um, end the dying condition. No, I do want to ask. Uh, ooh, actually, I probably can't do anything. However, be. she will gain the wounded condition. Oh, what are we gonna ask? Can handle? Oh, so just I don't think I can make any sort of check to give her some temporary healing. Actually, no. Uh, I have a potion of minor healing. Can I use mm -hmm. my final action to give that to her? Um, might I suggest then you just don't cast stabilize because the healing will just bring her back to consciousness. Oh, so it'd be basically two idea. actions. It'll free you, free you up. So that's cool. Yeah, just roll the roll the the check because you have to draw the potion, feed it to her. So that's two actions, and then you'll you'll get an extra action after. And we'll just ignore the stabilize because you didn't have to make any dice rolls for it anyways. So just oh, roll the stable. Healing. So here's the thing: if you want to do yeah. something else in the meantime, Hulky, you could just stabilize. I'm imagining the thing is not going to attack Vali again. Now that Vali is down and was dying, but stabilizing means that Vali doesn't have to, you know, encounter issues next turn. I mean, I, I only, only disagree with that because her turn is coming up next. Her turn becomes now before the devoted. Mm -hmm. So yes. now she'll be up, then she can leave and ah. recuperate. So it's better for the, to do the potion now. Yeah, because yeah. stabilize is just an emergency measure. But yeah, yeah that's like you're like, oh, God, better. stop, <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Should I just use healing potion minor since she's targeted? Will that kill Your her? choice. What are you what are you doing, Rahua? Uh we'll do the healing potion. See is probably useful later on. Okay, cool. Roll me the healing. Nice! There you go. Wow. Damn. So Vali, you get eight uh points back, you get the wounded condition. You are still, however, um pro. Because nice. nice. Okay, uh you still have one action left, Rahua. Absolutely. So Rahua will after seeing Folly come back to consciousness, look over at this horrible creature, and the green of his eyes shifts to a oh, a, a very angry orange yellow. Ooh. And okay. he'll hold out his more mechanical hand on his left arm and unleash an arc barrage. So just raw energy leaps forth from his hand towards this creature. Uh, so an yeah, arc barrage that, is two. It's two. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was a cantrip. It, it is, but it's still two. It's still two. I'm a fool. Okay, I won't yes. do anything. You can move if you want. No, I'm going to reposition it's something fine. else. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Go back club. Okay. Do you, okay. I don't care. Gosh. All right. Okay. Um, end your turn, and then Baldrick, you will be up next. 
Get him. Uh, shite. What can I even do? Um, Thurston. Yes. I am basically no good in this fight. Because I have no real means of to attack this thing other than, like, going up and hitting it with my club for a whopping 1d4, I think. Uh, get the, uh, get the boss club. Uh, I don't have it. It's in someone else's inventory. Yeah, but if you walk... It's I, in if, mine. You, if you walked up and grabbed her who has Moss Club, or threw a Moss Bomb. Yeah. Regardless, yeah, regardless your stuff could help. You could also spend some actions to identify things about them to that's, see that's if you can I'm find any to, weaknesses. That's what I want to do, as I'm trying to think yeah. of, like... I wanted to do two things. One, can I move to there? I'm fine with taking a hit. I don't. I mean, if he crits it, me, I'll die anyway. But you know, it's, uh, so so mechanically, you know, he's already used a reaction to dump goo on Tannhauser. So unless he's really really special and has multiple reactions and has attack of opportunity, he probably won't hit you. So well, let's safe. find out if he has that. I'd like to move nope. there. Yep, yeah, you're good. Move me. Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. Thank. You. Did I did I go? Oh, sorry. Hey, you there? Showed you want there? No. No, I'm I'm okay. Now I'm there. Jesus. Okay. Like, sorry. No, sorry. It was it was showing us you wanted to move one square ahead. <laughs> yes, I'd like to move five feet. That was what I was worried about. Yeah. Anyways, no, you move up to there. Cool. Okay. Two things. Yes. Uh, I would like to. Uh, I would like to inspect the thing with a perception because I don't think alchemy is going to help me much with this. Like, okay. I'm not going to learn anything particularly valuable other than, oh, it's rotten. Uh, pers like, is it tied to the basin like a perception of any? Um, you can you can give me a perception check and I will tell you some useful stuff you might discern from this. Okay, where the hell is my perception? There it is. Run. Go! That's... 11, that'll give me a 16. Okay, so you can tell it's holding on to the basin, like, but it's got, like, big meaty fists that are around it, clutching onto it pretty, pretty heartily. Um, so it's not part of it, it's just holding it. It seems like it's holding it as possibly some, like, long-standing thing. You can also see the arcs of electricity going over it. You can see that it is heavily rot-infested as well. Like, this is a creature that is definitely overtaken by all right, and I guess I wouldn't know anything about it prior to that point, right? It's just kind of... Awesome. No, like, whatever type of creature this is, um, like, it's more of a humanoid. So, like, if you want to make a recall knowledge, it's a humanoid. You might be able to try society. Would recall knowledge uh, take my other point? It would take your last action. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to hold off on that until next turn. Okay. And I want to see what is the status of the pool. And the reason I'm asking is I do have the moss bomb. Moss is for, like, taking care of rot. Theoretically, if I were to make a check to determine, would attacking it with the moss bomb clean the pool? Um, it could have an effect on the pool. It looks like the pool, though, is, and I'll, I'll just level with you, the, the, the pool itself is more of, like, infested by the, the rot infection. Like, you would probably be better off using the moss bomb on the thing than anything, because, like, mm. uncorrupting the water won't actually do much to that, you think. Well, I was I was making I was thinking of making like a stage hazard. Uh, I mean, that we fair, push that, back into that could that could work if you are thinking of doing that. Um, it might just purify the water, though. It might not turn it into like it wouldn't turn it into mossy water. So it'd be more you probably and your allies probably wouldn't like be impeded by it if you cleanse the water. But that's a bit. OK, that was worth a shot. I was thinking maybe maybe clean the funny guy. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll tell you what I'll do a recall knowledge then. Okay, give me a society. I throw flasks to make you Mr. Clean. I was going to try and do a solid for Auntie Drown, but uh, the GM says I won't be able to, so instead I'll roll a 19 and get a 27 on society. Okay, so you recognize this as a type of giant. Um, this is obviously a corrupted giant, but giants are very very rare. They are known to inhabit the the frigid north lands of Tyne and reclusive other areas. Some of them, however, used to congregate in the solitude and outset because as a species they were very much associated with the old powers. Um, hmm. The few 
the few giants that still exist in and around the like the Perdome area, specifically outset, are notable for being big adherents to the old powers. So you're you're able to guess this was probably like a guardian here at some point, uh, though it has mm-hmm. long since been corrupted. No, especially the glaring flaws in its makeup at all. Um, again, like, it reconfirms the rot sort of element to it. It also reconfirms that the way this thing is going to work is going to be probably very basic tactics of moving around and hitting you really hard. Well, it's worth a shot, at least. I I was thinking of maybe trying to fix it, but probably very long dead, so... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, this thing is... And you know that when the rot kills a creature, it just animates their corpse. And in this case, this thing is definitely an animated thing. Okay. I'm thinking of something next turn. Don't worry. Okay. I've got I've got a plan. It's All a right. stupid plan. I, hey, I like it. Volley! Uh, I believe that'll bring us to you if Baldrick you wanna end your turn, please. Yeah, I'm just I'm I'm still pondering some things, but yeah, that'll okay. work. Oh okay. boy. Volley, well, volley you're back <laughs> back in the action. As your <laughs> eyes like come up and you see the feet of this thing. Oh Owie. Whoa, thank you, buddy. We can't let it get away with that kind of shit. All right, I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna put my hands back behind my head and I'm gonna do like a kip up uh, to athletics, get some panache. Yeah, sure, Uh, sure, acrobatics. Acrobatics rather, yes. Hell yeah. I am not athletic. Hell yeah. Ooh, well, that's still a 14. It's uh, it's not a fifteen, which is what I would expect you to roll to, uh, to do it with style. So <laughs> get fucked. So you, you do stand up. So. Yeah, yeah. Oopsie. Yeah, I'll just Uh-oh. stumble to my feet and just. Oh, that hurt a lot. Okay, okay. Um, and uh, I I didn't see this thing splash people with rot, but I feel like attacking it. Uh, okay. hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Yes. Yeah. I so you see it. could, you could still like tumble through it theoretically, and then <laughs> flank with Tannhauser and do a finisher. You, you, it's <laughs> and then I'll instantly kill myself again. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> that would it's... be really funny. Could be. <laughs> <laughs> Real funny. Very what are you doing, Bali? Funny joke. Um. Gregorian yeah. music intensifies. I know the Gregorian chant. Um, uh, fuck. I'm going to. Uh, Panache isn't gonna help me on ranged attacks because, if I recall, I cannot finish her on ranged. Uh, I believe not. No. No. Uh, and my precise strike does not apply to crossbow attacks. Um. So. Yeah, fuck it. We'll go for the glory. I'm going to tumble through. Oh, yeah. Do it. Do it. Bali is just reckless enough to do shit like this. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's a dirty 20 to tumble through. Okay. Okay. Um, so the DC is going to be its reflex. It's not fast, so you actually will succeed. Are you wanting to position yourself like on the stairs there? Um. To flank with Tannik? I'm going to... I'm going to position... I mean, no matter where I go... I guess because Baldrick has his club out, technically. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, So I'm going to go here. I don't want to be right next to this thing. Sure. Uh, And I'm going to hit him with a finisher. Please do it up. All right. Uh, Pray for me. I'm sending my energy your way. 11. It's a 19. Uh, a 19 will hit it, so you may remember does? to target it. Remember to target oh, it. Oh, yes, I, I'm uh, But you can roll damage, yeah. Okie dokie. Eh. Excellent. Uh, awesome. And you were finishing with that? I had it checked. Did it not go through? I, it just didn't do the... Um, oh. Yeah, it gave you the... No, it just gave you the regular precision, That's so it didn't weird. do the finisher. Uh, you might have done the attack and not the finisher. <laughs> More like a fornisher. Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> it's a four. It's fair. True. Uh, Many right. people are saying this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's all good. It's all good. So how many, how many oh. more extra d6 is that? Just two. Uh, for your finish here, I believe uh, it is. Confident finisher. 
Let me deal an additional two. Two d six. Two d six. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it is two d six. Yeah. So it would be minus two from this. So it does an extra two points here. So it'll do seven. Okay. Cool. Gotcha. Okay. Well, that was a little underwhelming. I mean. <laughs> I'm sorry that you've been exploding everything, I and I throw something hard against you. And, I know. All right. uh, is that the end of its of your go, Vali? Uh, that is going to be the end of my uh, go. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, if you want to end your turn, and p- please yep. pass it over to the drowned to phone it. Yep. Now I need to have a <laughs> she Vali just kindly passes like here you go. Thank you. Now I now I need to have a talk with chat and with the players, and this is where like in the the circle of friends I turn to speaker, speaker, my <laughs> friend. This is nothing personal, but you did do the most damage to this thing. Understandable. I would <laughs> oh, be afraid no. of me too, were I they. Uh, so it is going to, uh, like, s- still, like, lurching and facing that direction, not having moved much since its initial strike down of Ollie, uh, turns its head slowly towards you and raises the Bident back and slams it towards you. Go oh, for uh, Christ's sake! Jesus. Oh. Uh, doing 32 points of damage to you. And believe it or not, I'm still... I'm down. You. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, no, not to it. Don't, no, not to it. Yes! Oh, you you yeah. can't take it back. Yeah, okay. No back. No uh, back. So with one hit, it kills you. You're, you disappear for it. No. Um, it, Good idea. It, yeah, it just, it knocks you down. Like, just smashes through you. Uh, and you... The revolution in the sky has stopped turning. Yeah. The revolution needs a nap. Yeah. <laughs> Dying to um, again. Then it turns to Volley. Hey, why would with you do that? You're second right. attack. It's a little, I'm just a little guy and it's my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet Hitting Christ, for stop. 19 points of damage. Oh. Dodson, you Dodson. need to stop. Dodson. Um, uh, hit by nine. I, I don't have, uh, my nipple dodger only reduces it by two. Oh, um, wait, but is yes! it really myself? No! <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think a nipple dodge is actually going to do anything for me here. No, so, I was uh, making sure it wasn't critting you. No. Oh, uh, yeah, it, no. It, it was not critting, so we're, we're like, but, but that'll down volley. Ow! Dallas is down! Um, and then with its third action, it's gonna it what? will turn to the bear. Let's you go! Need, you, need to, you need to be stopped. Let's go! Come on! Yeah, I miss, miss me, you stupid miss. little bit. Yeah, yeah, so finally, after fucking map minus ten, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. well, great. As if, if you didn't have the map, that would still hit. There we go. That's the uh, that's the drowned devoted go. Um, it. Let's see here. Um, it takes one point of electricity damage, which I'm going to apply to it. X. One. Remember to move uh, ten, Hauser, above. Uh, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, they won't need to go above it again. There we go. Good. Um, okay, perfect. That was fun. Um, so that was that. That was that. So Ten has was there. Uh, Drown uh, doesn't get another action. Volley above the voted and Townhauser above her. She technically went down next, so she was to be above there. Yeah. There we go. All right, Oren. I got a question. Am I still technically flanking <laughs> with Townhauser's corpse over there? No. Uh, no, 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 because remember, I'm here. I have to move uh, to actually do a flight, so I have to move. Well, here's the reaction. Mm. Shit. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. This is a fun game. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, you could have walked in this room first. No, screw it. I want to move. <laughs> oh, my God. One action, move to the side. Mm-hmm. And because Foundry, Foundry's so great. Uh, because I just do do drag and drop of that thing, it does all of my druid shape shifting for me. So I Hell it already yeah. has claw and stuff ready for me. Oh, so oh, my yeah. first thing I'm gonna I'm just basically gonna claw it to death. Actually, I'm curious. Which I'm going to like, kill it. It's, it's my attack. I'm actually I have no idea what the. No, I think it's the same thing. Whatever, claw first. What? Hey. I hit it just barely. Yup. And I do a total of only five damage to it. Uh, guys, second, it's looking great. Second <laughs> round of hitting. <laughs> yep. I only got something, but I'm going to use a hero point. Okay. Okay. Do it up. Do it up. Did oh, worse. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, I did sick. worse. Sick. 
but I'm holding in. I'm holding okay. in. <laughs> okay. I like and, it. And uh, that's all I could do on my turn. Rahula, you're up. Do something, Treebeard. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying as best I can. <laughs> Rahula. Oh, why do you do these things? Okay. Oh, God. Okay, I don't have to touch him to make him not die. So now I'm really going to cast Stabilize on Tannhauser. I'm, I think we're in a DPS race right now, my dude. Do, do we? Uh, do you have any healing? I. <laughs> no, he's blown it all. Oh uh, no! Oh yeah. We don't need to sleep in a dungeon. No, just fucking who sleeps in a dungeon? I did only, I did I only cast it as a heightened. Actually, no, I didn't even cast healing back there. You did. Yeah. You have a. You, you have one left. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna Reaction do that. heal would bring up two people, but yeah. remember, if they get critted again. Yeah, fine. I think they at this live. point it's a ranged fight for us too. They will go before the beast if you do a AOE heal, but yeah. remember that thing. T well, that thing is undead, so it will also be harmed by your AOE heal. True. Try it. See what happens. And you too, and you do have two hero points. You're not really doing d20 stuff, but you know, you got it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to cast heal heightened for, well, as high as I can get in. So I can get that 30 foot emanation. Yeah. So d8 to everybody. Do it up. Get it with that emanation. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So instead of how you're doing the three action heal, that's a clarifier yes. for confused people. Correct. Do it. Up. He do be emanating yeah. though. Yeah. To kind of help out chat for uh for stuff basically your 30 basically is this so he does a big old wham and that will do slam his hands down into the ground and just rear back in a like a dio style roar just chest to the ceiling as just a wave of green energy washes over the room almost explosive volley energy. takes five damage it's because i gave her 10. <laughs> no, no he's been five, healed though. now he yeah. can't get healed. Yes, he can. He's not undead. That was an assumption you, you made, which was <laughs> no. You clarified it in the in the thing that this was undead. It's true. No, no. He's been reanimated by the rot. That doesn't mean he's undead. Because I wow. specifically oh, wow. said oh, the rot true. is entirely different from negative energy. Ah. Ah. Uh, oh well. Um. All right. So that will bring Volley up. So it's will... it's only five HP. It's not that big a deal. So yeah. Gonna... yeah. It'll yeah. also bring. Get us up. We're yeah. we're, we're going to bring him down to five HP on the last turn. He's going to knock three of you down again. I mean, I have a cunning plan. Plan. I also I'm do. But so excited. Okay. See. Let me uh, take these off of you. Okay. So now you should. Yeah. Okay. Gonna... Uh, all that healing is done. So that was your turn, Rahu. If you want to pass the ball. Yes, I will do just that. First, right. Baldrick. Yes. I have the moss bomb. You do have the moss bomb. Yes. I have athletics. Or excuse yes. me, acrobatics and athletics. Okay. And I have two hero points. <laughs> All right. May I'm I, intrigued. <laughs> may I clamber up this thing and smash it in the head with the moss bomb? Um, you know what? Sure. I will, I will absolutely allow you to do this. And basically, if you can pull this off, I'll let you get a crit effect on it. Okay. Here we go. So give me a, um, athletics or acrobatics. Your choice. I'll do acrobatics. My acrobatics is better than my athletics. Okay. Please. Mark down a hero point, please. I, I marked down both because remember it's two for narrative declaration. Yeah. No, no, no. We're we're changing that to one. Yeah, we changed it to one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. This so, is what we discussed so at the beginning. I I'm, I'm zoned out to touch. Okay. <laughs> so if I use the one hero point to do the narrative declaration, can I use yep. a hero point to re-roll if something goes? If back? you fuck up, absolutely. All right. Here we go. Do it up. Okay. Let's so see what like, we got. Ooh. It's an eleven. Will that suffice with seventeen? Uh, so technically, you're flanking it, so that will that will <laughs> that will do it. Um, I will allow you to roll me the damage on the moss bomb. I think you have it in your inventory. So. Yeah, hang on a second. Uh, so that's moss bomb. 
damage. Moss yeah. bomb crit too? Uh, yeah, I would just roll a crit. Okay. Ooh, 22. Oh. It is also weak to moss, so it will take this plus an additional five points of damage. 27. Whew. It also, as the moss, as you climb up, smash this, like, vial of primal moss against its head, you can see the moss spreads with little, like, viney growths around it, bat like, destroying some of the, the tumorous rot masses. And this thing is, like, shaking and angry. You can tell that it's actually, like, affected to it. And I'll, I'll give you the mechanical effects so you know, because you've, you've made some mm. checks on this already. Um, you can tell that this creature is vulnerable to moss, and not only does it take extra damage from it, it also takes a penalty to its armor class and its attack rolls for one round after it's been damaged by a mossy effect. There I wonder why Thurston gave us so many moss things at the start of this dungeon. <laughs> okay, so Thurston, I have yes. spent two actions, yes? Correct. I'm gonna try and take my last action still on top of this fucking thing. Mm -hmm. Am I allowed to do two Nardex in one turn? What, what, what the fuck are you wanting to, to Nardex me on the second time? My, my, I'm just my asking, friend. Can I, can, I also, can I also make my club crit too? Uh, no, no, <laughs> fuck you. You don't get to, like, create a fucking rule that's like, I print whatever I want. That was a cool cinematic effect. You only get that. If you want to make an right. act of your fucking... I thing, will! How about that? Yeah. Roll a 20 <laughs> and spite me, you fuck. Hey, hey Thurston, I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, is that map five? Yeah, yeah. Map five, and I'm, I'm, is it still flat-footed? Uh, I, yeah, yeah, it's, I've got the effect on it. And it'll Me. actually be two under, so if you're within two, you'll hit it, because I don't have... A way to apply the vulnerability effect, so I have to do it manually. Anyways, just roll oh. the attack. And I... Oh no, not enough. Sorry. You got a hero part. Yeah, you yeah, could reroll it if you want. Got one yeah. hero part. My, my, remember, my... remember, you also need hero points to stay alive. My uh, combat okay. skill is not enough for me to warrant it. It's it's he's like shaking and rumbling while I'm beneath him, so it's like yeah, boss, and like club he's miss. definitely taken. Like I'll, I'll I'll say you 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 fail with the attack, but then you kind of land back where you were because there isn't like a clutch onto it type. Thing. I wish to grapple it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> grapple. No. no. All right, that is Baldrick's go. Uh, this thing is looking incredibly messed up, having had the 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 moss spread around it um, and like combat some of those those rotten tumors. Uh, Baldrick, if you will end your turn, that will bring us to Tannhauser. Do it up, Tanny. Tannhauser is going to, on one knee, you are not my end. <sighs> then there's going to be a whirring inside of his chest. He's going to activate his internal disentangler engine and simultaneously be both where he is and above this creature before solidifying on that. I'll be spending one of my focus points to dimensional assault. Yeah. So I am above, uh, to be above him. Okay. You are a stepping stone of the revolution! And I'm going to spell strike from above. Okay. Hydraulic push. Do it up. All right. So let's rock. Uh, would I count as perhaps flanking this individual? Uh, yeah, I'll keep the flat-footed effect on it. So you're good. okay. Cool. <laughs> I, would I, I, I would I still be prone or flat-footed? Uh, I'll take. You know what? I'll take the the prone. Actually, let me. Thur Thurston, I, I kind of like. I kind of want to throw this in. I'm not going to steal from Speaker. Can I still be up there? <laughs> he just teleports next to me. Like, oh hello. Hey. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Plunge, I'm plunging attack him right now okay. with my rapier. <laughs> You are yeah. down being like a uh, Link in Smash Bros. That's Bros. right, yes. True. Exactly, okay. Perfect. I think I'm gonna just re make sure my strike's going through. Okay, let's rock. Oh, that's okay. Hero point. Yeah, hero yes. points. come on, do better. Best thing about hero points is hero points. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, buddy. <laughs> Very crit. nice. All right, so rocking that crit down for 16 damage, and then Hydraulic Push is going to be a crit success. So it's going to be 66 bludgeoning, and it's knocked into the ground for 10 feet, which I would imagine 
would make it prone, I'm going to uh, double this, I suppose. Yeah. Oh, Tannhauser takes five damage, I see. <gasps> yeah, Tannhauser takes five damage. I'm dead now. He explodes, okay. yeah. So, uh, in that case, I will uh, go ahead and just roll three more d6. Big for a 23 cool. plus uh, 16. So it's going to be 39 damage and then plunging it down into the ground. Okay, one sec. Okay, so you do this. Um, you come down, plunging into its head, and you basically land, um, I, again, you can't quite land in its square, so I'm gonna have you land there. Um, as, as does Baldrick, who falls off it as, as this, this occurs. Um, as this happens, uh, you land a mighty, mighty blow um, that horrifically maims this and sends his face like smashing and he's still holding on again like you, you've kind of had to target this because he's holding the basin above his head mm -hmm. and so you come right over his head and cause his head to smash into the ground with your force again this hydraulic push knocking him down um, and there is like this moment as he, his face is in the ground he's not prone but like his face is like down in the ground because of his like more squat form. His large meaty fist is still sort of clenching there. Um, and as as you have done that and and dealt to this this grievous grievous blow, we enter phase two. Ah! I see. <laughs> um, <laughs> and it immediately <laughs> takes another action. Would you um, say that it is prone, at least, from being thrust 10 feet into the ground? Um, it's more that you've dealt extra damage to it, so it is going to start with oh, a bit more damage helpful. on it. Oh, cool. I'll spend my hero point for that. <laughs> for there <laughs> to declare okay, that fine, happens. Fine. I'll say he's prone. You know what? Sure. We'll, we'll go with prone. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, he Thank will, you. however, take his... Um, oops, not that. He will, oh. however, take his... Uh, bug. Why am I not able to type? Uh, I am going to um, have him take his free reaction ability that he has here. Um, and so what happens at this point is you hear this thing like bellow and he takes basically a reaction rather than hitting you with the, rather than like hitting you with more detritus from the, uh, the bowl. He instead, like just in this angering shout, smashes the bowl down in the ground in front of him uh, to where Baldrick was standing um, and just uh, like lets out this this horrific like and as he does so he takes his bident and skewers the base of, of the basin with it and lifts it up in one hand so now the bident has pierced the basin and is essentially attached to it, turning his bident into a massive club with the basin on it. Oh no. Uh oh. Health Face bar refills. Yeah. Uh, yes. Um, oh, wait, we're at the 12 oh. damage from. Uh, and uh, ignore this roll, I just need to. Actually, that oh. roll works out perfectly. Uh, okay, so that was Tannhauser's go. Uh, what so a that fool. will bring us to Volley. That bowl will never hold liquid again. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, it's not even a bowl anymore, idiot. <laughs> Moron. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that's really bad. Um I am going to uh once more I'm going to try to acrobatics to my feet and get some panache. Absolutely. Uh so let's uh let's do that. Get up, bitch! Get up! And 16. Oh, yeah, that'll give you panache. All right, I'm getting up, getting to my feet. Um, This dude was just kind of beating the shit out of me, but I also feel like I'm probably of its least concern right now. Um, Yeah, I'm going to uh, hit this man with a... Uh, I'm just going to finish her. Yeah, do it up. You're technically flanking, so go me. Yes, yes, indeed. Uh, strike. There we go. Eh. Okay, would you like to roll for me, Boundary? Maybe. Uh, 
Uh, that will hit. That will actually oh, still will hit, hit because it's still got the vulnerability from the bomb from the prior round. Oh, okay. And, uh, yeah. Do I want to try to hero point it for the crit? Mmm. Mmm. Uh, yeah, let's risk it for the biscuit. Oh, greedy. Uh, You're wrong. I'm greedy. I'm greedy. Greedy. <laughs> You're getting really greedy. I'm getting really greedy, but uh, you comes. know, I, I will only be punished you. for my hubris. Uh, uh, I can't bring you back. Oh, okay. no, it won't be the crit, but you'll hit. Ah, that was oh, wait, to a crit, that will be the crit because it's still yes! the minus two. Oh, my fucking God. Very good. <laughs> Very Yay! good. I'm glad you risked it. Yes. Remember, everyone, Pain. in Pathfinder 2E, you crit if you're 10 over the AC. So. Yes. All right, risking it for the biscuit. Thank oh the Christ. All right, finisher, make sure that box is checked. Uh, she rolled a 25, wait. by the way. Plus two. Exactly. For lack of a battle of teeth. Better turn. It's good. Dark Soul yeah. Banner, biscuit obtained. There Very we good. go. Very there good. There we go. What's the number? That is a 28 points of uh, damage. Wow! The 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 thing roars in this just like utterly like bone shaking sound. Uh, so you got up, Panache finisher. You still have an action, right? Yep. Come I'm back going to just five. plunge the rapier into his stomach and then okay. reel back. And I'm going to say, now he's mad. And I'm going to turn and I'm going to run back here. Fucking smart. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> How far are you moving? Uh, I'm going to uh, kind of move behind this pillar and slide about and 15 cower. feet. Very good. 15 feet and kind of press my back against it. Mm. Shoot out a thumbs up and be like, oh, me, you go get him, guys. Terrifying fatty ahead. Try plunging. <laughs> 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 Do you want to end your turn? <laughs> Please, Bali. I'm going oh, yes, to end my turn. Again. I'm going to end my turn. Try it. tongue butthole. <laughs> okay. Um, no. So it's, uh, it's going to go. Um, it now, using its sweeping basin, um, has two people it's very angry at, which would be Tannhauser and Baldrick. So it's going to make a sweeping blow, striking it to Tannhauser first and then into Baldrick. Um, I make a single melee strike with the basin, and I compare it um, to the AC of up to two foes, both of which have to be in its reach. Um, and so if I crit you, I apologize. Who are you hitting first? Roll natural one, yeah! I yes. rolled a natural <laughs> Yes! One. All according oh to my five-year plan. <laughs> Bear Shut tank is for fight! Bear tank is for tank! <laughs> I miss with the fucking basin attack. I dodged. Uh, my my um, eye frames scary me. I like... <laughs> I would imagine me in my bear farm just fucking just dodge rolling. <laughs> Uh, however, Baldrick is the one who fucking, I don't know, Tannhauser did like a million damage. Whoa, no, it's do 1d4. But I'm also in a weird place and he's stupid, so he might not have kept track of where I landed. All right, I'm going to roll 1d2 because it's only caring about Baldrick and Tannhauser. The bear is nice, but the bear hasn't done a million damage or used awful like anti-rot fucking tactics on it. And it's actually on pretty good terms with Rahua because Rahua healed it. So um, <laughs> yeah. Baldrick, Baldrick is going to be one. Yeah, oh, I'm going to hit Baldrick. I mean, oh no, my comrade. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at full health. I, I need to take a hit. He does have a better chance than you do. Oh, wow. I'll just hit you, but I'll hit you for 11 points. So that wasn't my... It wasn't my best, uh, my best roll this combat, oh, but uh, he'll smash get... you in the chest with the basin as this thing, like, just continues to to roar. Whoops! I always have it selected. Uh, there we go. And okay, cool. Um, Damn it! So that's that. It needs um, to take some Demache. Uh, well, it'll at, at once its turn ends, it'll automatically oh, persist. I see. So there, it takes like that. three. Yeah, and it's still got the persistence, so it's still arcing with electricity. Orin, you're up. Hey, ho, let's go. I'm gonna oh. call it. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm oh, fucking miss. Gonna re roll. <laughs> re roll. Sorry, I'm really sorry re -roll. for this. I'm no, gonna chat. I'm gonna natural one. 
Someone oh, in wow. chat said, at Erndil, you gotta restart your no-hit run now. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, bad RNG, bad RNG, bad RNG. Thorin, take us back, take us back, dude. Yeah, Come on, yeah. we gotta go back to the start. We have, we, if, we, if we clip straight okay. through the basement, I think. Alright, we're back in the jail. Okay, we're, um, <laughs> we're in the jailhouse now. Alright, yeah. I'm gonna uh, try to swipe again with a claw. Okay, do it up. Nope. Missed. Oh, that was almost Horribly. a one. <laughs> I'm fishing for the biscuit, fishing for a 20. No. Oh, oh shit! I did. I hit. You I hit it with the last one by two, actually, instead of the zero. But yeah. Right, there we go. And I did eight points of Bamaruni. Let's go. This Slam. thing is looking really fucking beat up and angry. Right, that's now. all I could do. <laughs> Rahua. Rahua God. just takes off in a dead sprint towards this thing. The mace wrapped in vines in his hand. Please hit. Fucking move. Fucking please hit. For the love please Remember to target it. Remember to target it, Rua. It is targeted now. Okay. Target the man. <laughs> oh my god. Can they do it? Can they? Can can Rahua? Can we hit phase three? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. I knew we should have hit that summon side outside. Damn it all! <laughs> you have... Wait, no, it's Rahua. the weakness, the weakness. He's still uh, yeah, no, it's actually, two. yeah, it's um, the vulnerability still up because Baldrix hasn't gone yet, so. Just a big fucking haymaker right into its face. Give me the, give oh, me the DiMaggio yeah. then. It's regular damage. We'll here see comes what we can do here. Roll it. Yeah. <laughs> it's five. Hey, five, five is good five. effort, good effort. Good five, it's, good five, yeah. good team. Okay, that, good was, that was two <laughs> actions. <laughs> You have one left. If you manage to, to hit with a with a last attack on a multiple attack penalty, you could kill steel from your. Is this allies, thing really. is this thing mossy? The mace. Yeah. Uh, no, he's was he using the moss? Yeah. Oh, he was using it. Oh yes. fuck. Then no, it is quite dead because hey. you will trigger its weakness. Just with a final just triumphant roar. This one's for Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this looking back on it, Jeremy. Our looking back on it. I think it's a good thing I went last. Because I meant the boss stuck around forever. That's so, true. <laughs> so what happens is you come in, Rahua, and you smash uh, smash him with this mace. And as you do, this, this, this entity, this massive, gigantic creature takes a step back. It's like head already cut and split open and oozing black ichor from where Tannhauser was and it's back also equally dripping with the foul substance from Volley's blows and the raking claws of bear Orin and then the moss still still saturating its body from uh from the the bomb of Baldric and you come and your your final hit on its head splits its head open as it collapses down its last action to turn towards you in a strange mix of shock and almost elation on its face and as it smashes down into the ground its body disappears into motes of strange black and blue light and at the same point though i don't have an animation for this um the water in the center of the room here begins to clear up almost immediately taking on a brilliant blue similar to the pure water you saw in the far western chamber which now is um available and open as the do as the fog door parts and the gem on the far end of the room also um illuminates and you can hear the the door sort of crunch open and above where this creature fell something floats in the air it appears to be a, a gemstone in covered in strange like watery energy with motes of mist floating around it and it floats there in the air waiting for someone to touch it but I think that's where we'll actually call it for today, because um, <laughs> holy fuck, y'all. Um, uh, I, I am very, very, very impressed by this. You all did fucking great there. Like, that was... That was... That was, was uh, I was fully sure I was going to murder 
all of you with that <laughs> based on you just should need it for not having a, uh, a phase three you should have had him I, come back again exactly yeah i know right i should have just kept going yeah there, That's there what were eight phases. yeah yeah Phase 50, we're all so, so some some fun background on phase one because we didn't get to see it because of like some placement and stuff. His ability in phase one is he can skewer you on his Biden. So if he didn't just like one tap you with crits, if he grabbed one of you, his tactic is he would skewer you and then move back 40 feet and oh. basically just like pull you back and stab you to death. Jesus. That's awesome. But uh, he just apparently would one hit you, but you still he, he, he critically hit us twice. He, he's he's honestly like my thought was that there would be a lot of elements at play when you were fighting him, which I was very worried you didn't have some of those elements in key places. But you got it together at the end. <laughs> Power without even looking at all the fucking items I gave you. Like I literally, <laughs> you you are literally playing this like fucking Zorn plays Dark Souls. He gets an item, it goes in the inventory, and he forgets about it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, people that get mad. Is I get like... so mad, and I'm like, and then chat's like, this 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 fight is not fair, Thurston. I'm like, motherfuckers, I made this so fair, God. <laughs> and then you still persevered. So congratulations. Ooh. Yeah, we can just use it later now, Thurston. Oh yeah, I know. Now, now next session it'll start with. Oh yeah, what were all those items we got? Oh, that might have been useful. Yeah, whatever. We're still <laughs> the champions. Um, no, that was that was fucking awesome. I'm highly and, epic. Um, we will continue on through the mysterious door at the uh, opposite end of the room in our next session. Also, uh, you're all gonna level up to third level. We did the thing. All right. Did. So uh, we'll just do a really quick outro thing instead of doing the whole shimbag. So first off, I'd like to say thank you, Odoroshi, for coming up for coming in Hello, and doing I, a flip. I, I, I did, in fact, do a flip. I did a flip right onto the ground uh, for two rounds in a row. <laughs> But yes, hello, uh, Odoroshi Rider. You can find me on Twitter at Odoroshi Rider. It has been so much fun playing with y'all today. Yep. And Hokey Crow. Yeah, thank you for letting me avenge my one and only true companion in this world, a dead crab. But it's been very fun. Didn't expect to not die there. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm Hokey Crow. You can find me at Hokey Crow on Twitter or the Narrative Declaration Discord server, which we should have a link in chat in the next couple Exclamation seconds. Exclamation point Discord in chat. Come out and hang out. We love you guys. <laughs> Making the community there. I'm stumbling over my own words. I'm still reeling. <laughs> Aaron Dill. Yeah, I'm I'm Erndil. You can see me at Twitter at Erndilly. I'm also in the Narrative Declaration Discord and just kind of hang out occasionally and say vicious things to people. It's it's funny. If you want to be lambasted, go there. I'll do it. Speaker. Hi, I'm Speaker D. You can find me on Twitter at Super Snake Cake, and you can find me and Erndil writing and doing stupid voices on Alpha Abuse's YouTube and occasionally Patreon. And I understand Metal Gear Solid 2, so that's another reason why you should follow me there. Thurston. Hi, I'm Thurston Hillman on Call GM on all the socials, and you can find me on uh, Twitch where I'm playing games and stuff. Um, otherwise, they killed my boss, chat. They killed my boss, and I'm sad. I guess that <laughs> just means the next Nerd. boss has to be harder. Yeah, come on, Thurston, step it up. Kill these guys more. I survived, right. so I can say that. That's right. Well, I your no-hit hit. runs ended. <laughs> I just seen my no-hit run. I'll yeah, start a new no-hit run. All right, all right, all right, I see it. Also, no, the, the Zorn, you got hit. I didn't get hit by him. You got no no-hit run since the start of the game, Thur Zorin. Yeah. Nah, bosses only. <laughs> a boss bosses only. A boss oh, only. Shit. I see it. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, also, uh, yeah, check out the, the, the Patreon, because we just put up um, an article on the Pantheons of Rock Grind, which has some cool information on, like, no, some right. of the deities you maybe saw. That will be the spiel. Yeah. And and I am I am Zoran, I host the thing and all that stuff. You're on my channel and my things and stuff like that, and we all have a great crew. So if you're interested, just as Thurso said in our setting, also stats of the things that we use uh, to get tokens, handout cards, and to use these in your campaigns if you want to, adjust them how you'd like. Uh, we professionally produce uh, PDFs because Thurso knows what he's doing. He works at Paizo, knows how to make Pathfinder 2nd Edition stuff, and uh, Jamie does an amazing job 
on putting these really nice professional PDFs together. There is a primer uh, for it and everything else on our website and on Patreon. If you go to narrativedeclaration.com, uh, you'll find the Patreon, the cast and crew, the primer to the lore and to the setting and everything else, all that fun stuff there. And you can learn more about us on patreon.com for slash narrative declaration and help support the show. That support on here on Twitch and on Patreon really kind of keeps the lights on and helps pay for everything. So with that, thank you all very much. Have an absolutely lovely day. And we'll see you next episode on the website, the countdown timer, and the schedule. Love you all. Goodbye. Woo. Later. Goodbye. 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 Again, I swear Good. to God, I'm back again. They killed my boss. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs>